step into the enthralling collection of Karen encounters. This belief unfolds as parking lot Karen halts chaos, with drama escalating off camera. A local restaurant turns into a battleground in fiery encounter. Shock as an employee confronts racism. And watch this male Karen demonstrate peak entitlement. Karen causes chaos in a parking lot and won't get out of the way so these guys can drive their car. Ends with things looking like they probably escalated off camera though. Homie? Don't touch me. Bro, move around. Don't touch me. Move around. Don't touch me. We ain't gonna touch you. We know you're gonna press charges. You trespassing too. You own this motherfucker? Yeah. You own it? Maybe I do. You don't with them dirty ass feet. You don't. Them dirty ass feet, you don't. Get on somewhere, bro. No. Hey, just back the car up. Just back the car and pull out, bro. No. Bird. Hey! Yeah, maybe I do. Just back this motherfucker. You you know her? Move her around, bro. Thank you. Move, move her out, bro. Go, go. Denzel, go. Bro. Is this your wife? Is this your wife? Thank you. Things go from zero to one hundred real quick with this Karen at the local restaurant. She wasn't talking to you. What are you gonna do, bro? You're Employee tells this Karen where to go after she thinks she's entitled to use racist language towards this worker. You, and you can find somebody because you calling me the N word is disrespectful. I didn't the N word in my family was. You don't say, you don't was, say that regardless, you don't say it. I'm tired of her calling goodbye, me ma'am, and I told her to quit goodbye, me that. Goodbye, you and your racist self and can get out I this want, store. I you and your racist self receipt. can get out this store. And I won't be coming back can, here. No, no. You don't disrespect me. You don't call me a You don't say the N-word. I you said I quit like that. using that word in Excuse me, you can leave. You can leave because you being a Karen, ma which you being a Karen is unacceptable. Here. The fact that you even mentioned that. Would you don't, you you don't know what I'm receipt, I'm not giving you nothing. And I won't get out of I'm here. not giving you nothing. Okay. You're racist, and that's your problem. We live in a world that we need to come together. You don't know what I'm mixed with. But I'd be damned if I let you or anybody talk to me like that because it's mad disrespectful. Don't you ever come you to this line and talk and to somebody me. Else Goodbye. Do. Goodbye, Karen. Do. Goodbye, You're Karen. Goodbye, Karen. Would you please give Goodbye, me Karen. Goodbye, Karen. I got it. I got it. I got it. And I will, uh, I'll go to the mission store if you know Go to mission. If you go to mission. Receipt, I'd appreciate it. And best believe I'm going to let okay. everybody know how racist you are. I told you we don't use the word. We don't. You, you don't say it at all. Why do you keep saying it? Well, why do you keep why saying do you keep, it? You it's, out it's, it's out of respect. It's out of respect. It's a, a respectful term. The N word is not. And why would you even say that? Why would you even say, say that as an example? Could you give me a receipt and I'll just get out? Don't give her nothing and make sure she never come back in this store. It's sad that we still have racism in 2022. Well, she lacks respect. You lack respect. Because she's racist. She's racist. Goodbye. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye. 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 Racist, Karen. Neighbor Karen threatens to call the cops over her neighbors doing yard work. You want to be a tough neighbor, and I'm going to be tough back. I want them off my lot, and you're not putting anything there. Putting tough the fencing is being replaced at your husband. You know what? I, I'm, you know what? You created nothing but crap with all your picture taken. We're cutting down, down trees, which actually ultimately helped you. All right? We, we took back your property for you because it was creating so many leaves and everything. 
you take him to call the cops? My husband told me to call the cops. You want me to do that? Yes, and I will show him where the property monuments are. You don't even are. have, uh, you don't have no idea where the property line is. Well, you don't know what you're speaking about. You don't Pam. either, because you weren't here when it was put in. You have not, you weren't here when it was put in, okay? Or you weren't old enough to know. Don't even Pam, go there. You don't know what you're you saying. You don't even know what you're talking about. You can't be a shitty neighbor and take pictures and make my life difficult when I want to cut down trees and then do this. You're so full of crap. God, you've got me so mad right now. Well, that's what you get for being a shitty neighbor. That's what you get. You get what you give. This is what your you husband... You get what you get. You know that? I wouldn't have said boo to you, but you want to be a shitty neighbor and sit out here and take pictures and video while we're sitting there trying to cut down trees. And all you can do is sit there and complain. Your neighbor, your own neighbor has been assigned. Get out. Does that give you a hint? Do they spray paint on your side of the fence? Keep off. Male Karen scream in the face of this young teen, seemingly in a false sense of male bravado. You know who I am? Who are you? I'm the guy with the handcuffs, ass. Handcuffs? Yeah! What are you doing? Walk now! Handcuffs? Walk now. I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of your property. There's your You're not out of my property until you hit that line. No, you don't own right anything. there. You don't Go own, now! You don't own all these houses. Okay, Luke, Luke, let's just hit that Go line. Now. Luke, how will we hit that line and then call the cops? Go. I'm going to jail. If you don't Another male Karen, and this one is upset because he's getting his fancy car towed and won't pay the small fine to get it all sorted. I don't even know who the f you are. I don't, don't even know who the f you are. And you want me to pay you? I'm Can't the tow man. Well, I don't know you. Why would I want to pay you? Because I got your car on my truck. Okay, well, good for you. Now you could, you could go ahead. Go ahead. Take me home with it. I don't go ahead, need to take, take you away with it. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't go need to. Go ahead, pay for the damages, dude. I You're know. making me laugh, dude. Really. Oh, You're making God. a fool out of yourself. It's very simple, man. Give me 50 bucks, I drop the car, you're on your way. Why would you give me 50 bucks? To drop your car. Why? Yeah, you do it for free. I do it for free? Go ahead, give me your ride for me. Okay. Get ready. It's going to be fun. Karen is trying to cite the law and legal codes, but somehow gets mixed up and throws in a couple of her favorite condiments into her speech. The yes, or what is for missiles and national security of the United States and blowing the cover of ketchup, mustard, and yes, of an architect company that is for international. You can face the federal pension. Now, U.S. Marshal, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do would be easy to get square law. Now, new to up. Now, right here. My nickname get is back. King. Get your crazy ass back. Wait, Look, don't check me. this out. Go get some. Hey, go get some mayonnaise. Now. Oh, sh doors are. Who that is coming out of your apartment? I'm not a bad person. Hey, somebody, Who's coming out your apartment? Went to your apartment? Somebody, in a, somebody in a black suit went to your apartment. CIA. Got the FBI in there. <laughs> Entitled Karen demands a refund at the store and makes a huge scene complaining she is under huge duress and can't be expected to act calm. Surprisingly, she doesn't get her way. Before to make sure things are done legally. Does not work. This, two weeks old, this is a week old, will not work. This is a brand new refrigerator from them, does not work. Does not keep any of the food cold. Mm. My parents came in here two weeks before that, but two different televisions set the whole thing up, nothing works. No tele, two, two $700 televisions, this doesn't work. That doesn't work, and now they're telling me this is a week old, this is two weeks old, and they're telling me they won't give me my money back because I'm upset. I'm not, I'm not calm. You can't tell somebody who's been like under this kind of duress, you can't tell them if I act really nice and pretty, will they return it? Is that what you're saying? If I act calm and nice and pretty, then everything's going to be okay? I'm doing everything by the law, and they're trying to turn me into a criminal. I was the first one here, I was here. You went there. Good Samaritan calls out this Karen for keeping her dog locked in her car in the insane summer heat. Judge Matthew, you left your dog in the car alone in this heat. Look at that poor kid. His dog is hairy. That dog is hairy. Look at him. And you're leaving a dog in you're leaving a dog in a car empty. It is heat. You're leaving a dog alone in a car. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Go on social media. Go on YouTube. YouTube. Leaving a dog alone in the car in this heat. 
I bet you leave a baby in the car too, right? Yeah, it's good. I bet you leave a baby in the car too alone, right? Can you just... No. I'm dumb. I'm not the one who leaving a, car, a dog in the car alone. Like he's gonna answer you. You know what? This guy is crazy. I'm not crazy, I'm a dog lover. Passionate parent tells this Karen where to go after swearing at his kid, seemingly to her surprise. Oh, I just witnessed excuse it. Excuse me for swearing. At a 15 my... year old. That is not okay. It's not okay? No. But it's not okay. It's not okay to, to swear. The it's boss. okay to yell at him for you running in front of your car. Yeah. But it's not okay to swear at a little kid. A little? He's 15, right? 15 is still little. Okay. I have a 15. They just old. entered high school. Okay. And you're swearing at him. You know what? You're making no sense at all. No, you're okay. making no sense at all. Listen you really to just me. need to leave. Listen. You really to just me. need to leave. Listen to me. I have no interest in listening to you. Well, you, then you, have, you can't debate a thing. Then you just okay? need to leave. I have, we have plenty of I literally of kids just gave you the whole pets. thing. Plenty I don't care about pets. your kids and pets. You were plenty in the car. I despair. I don't I care. I slowed down. You crossed the street and then but you there crossed there a pet right? in the street? There was no pet in the street. I don't know no, why you're bringing you kids me? and pets into the conversation. There was no kids. There was no pets. Would you rather me hit him? Fast food employee faced with yet another Karen, but seems fairly unfazed by the whole ordeal. Looking at me in the same way, I would have said the same thing. And you couldn't do it without it. Why don't you? What are you doing about it? Shut your mouth. Yeah, because you, if, 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 if you was looking at me the same way, I would have said the same thing. Okay. Get out of my store. What you saying? Why don't you? What you saying? What? What I'm saying is, no what are you saying? Stuff. What are you saying? You're not saying. Stuff. You're not saying. You're not saying nothing. What you gonna do? Male Karen freaks out at the coffee barista for not allowing him to drink his coffee for free, basically. Tell me that you're not going to stir it or give me a new one. So you took a sip, that's food well, how do I know what it try? Well, how do I know what it tastes like? So if you mess my coffee up, I can't try it. Is that funny, Nate? Can you make me a new coffee or can you my money back, Nate? Nate, I'll please. I'll video. I got, I got the right to, to video whatever I want. If I can record a cop, I can record a Dunkin' Donuts worker. Now make me a new one and get my money back. Tough guy. Oh, you are being tough. You're laughing at me and saying that I can't try my coffee to see if it tastes like It's made wrong. I want a new coffee. I want my money back. Give me a full refund now. Give me a full refund now. Trump telling me you ain't giving me back until I pulled the camera out. You just said you ain't getting nothing back. I, Until I, I pulled my camera back, you told me I'm not getting nothing. No, I told you to get your money back. No, you said I'm not giving you a new one. That's what you ordered. That's what you told me. I, I, I'm sticking to that. I'm getting your money back. And you're not you get said it. you're not getting your money back until I said pull the camera out. Until I pulled the camera out, you said I'm not getting nothing back. You started acting like a tough guy until I pulled my camera out. Drunk Karen won't stop harassing this guy just trying to enjoy his drinks with his friends on a holiday. Accusing us of stealing her, what was it, your husband's drink? Where's your husband, by the way? <laughs> This lady is to too. What does that have to do with anything? You're crazy. You are crazy. You are crazy you right are now. So crazy. No, I'm oh sorry. Oh why are Why are we the crazy ones? We're, oh we're minding our own God. business with these well, two drinks that we bought. That okay. we bought. Why are you trying to touch my drinks? You do your thing, boo. Why are you? No, I'm not your boo. I'll no. never be your boo. Okay, you don't, You'll yeah. be too lucky if I was your boo. Trust me. Oh, honey, you don't have to be my boo. Then why are you here? Why are you at the table right now? Why are you harassing me? I Can you please go away? No, go away. I don't want you here. No. We're trying to mind our business with our dreams. If you're better than me, then go be with your better friends. Then go do something that's better than sitting here. Bye. Get out of my table and I'll turn your phone off. Get out of my table and I'll turn my phone off. Angry Karen goes crazy and steps behind the counter of the fast food place after claiming to see an employee lick her fingers and touch customer food. All y'all to know that. You want to keep it alive? We is at McDonald's and this girl over here took and dug into a Cheeto bag licked her fingers and then grab the customer's food customer's food we don't want that nasty we don't know she been sucking licking we don't know what the hell she been doing nasty. oh god damn
on our food that y'all are eating, she just ate them, licked her fingers, and then did it. You guys need to take a big short. That means fix. Entitled Karen is ready and primed to get viral on TikTok of her complaining about the restaurant drive through not having fresh cookies ready for her after she claims to have called in ahead and asked them to make her a fresh batch. Hi, can I have you come over to the side right now, please? Are y'all gonna have my fresh cookies? Yes. And how long? How long? Two more minutes? Two more minutes. God damn. What's your name? You the new manager? I'm the manager here. The new one, right? Damn, two more minutes. I'm going to put, I'm going, I'm going to ask you next time I come, can y'all please have some fresh cookies? Cause I call, I literally call, I literally call and make orders every time. It's not fine. Damn, for three cookies, I gotta pull up for three cookies. Where's my money? Can I have my money? You already didn't threaten me. You was gonna cash me my money, so give me my money. Damn. All right, hurry up then, cause you, that's what you said. You said you was gonna give me my money, so give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. Where's my money? Male Karen complains to the McDonald's employee and isn't happy with how they treated his complaints, so threatens to contact corporate. Here's the food that's ice cold, which is two chicken McNuggets cold with no dipping sauce, no napkins, no receipt. Well, I went to the drive-thru and told you that my order was wrong. Okay, and I was missing the quarter pound of cheese and no dipping sauce and no receipt. And you said if you didn't like it, I could go somewhere else. Is is that the policy of McDonald's? Hi there. Can I get your name, please? What what is this? Argue with me? You you are arguing with me? No, I'm having a conversation. Do you understand that you're being video recorded? I don't care. Obviously. I don't care. And that's I what you're going to do to corporate? Angry old male Karen grunts in frustration as he doesn't get what he wants. Really? You understand? I'll you're... call the police on you. Really? Do not hassle me. Keep it going. What else you got? I don't got anything. I'm trying to check out. Karen calls the police on this innocent man and escalates the victimhood narrative while on the phone so the police will come quicker. She is on the phone with 911 right now. Look, look at her. She said I just threatened her. What threat, what, what threat did I make towards you? I'm Elizabeth. What threat did I make towards you, ma'am? Huh? <sighs> this is crazy. I've never... I already knew, I already knew what it was when I first got here though. He or she is one minute later trying to sound distressed so the police can come quicker. What? 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 in the world is this boy i ain't gonna lie i've never in my life had to deal with no boy like this never in my life <laughs> angry bike karen films these guys in their car as a way to threaten taking legal action all over the fact that they honked at her car why the hell were you honking at me meow oh you're a fuzzy no nah. why are you honking at me we're fuzzies i'm sorry I'm riding on the road. I have a right to ride, ride on the road. I better not hit my phone. You got your license plate. All we did was honk, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Help Why us. Be aggressive? We're in danger, sir. I'm not being aggressive. I, I was just meowing at you. Have a good one. <laughs> Where's she going? <laughs> What is she doing? <laughs> She's being silly. Silly asparagus. Hey, hey, watch this. My foot is She's going to know I'm so chill. <laughs> <laughs> Delusional Karen lectures this guy on how she feels about his dreads. He unsurprisingly left in utter disbelief. When black women can wear beautiful long hair and white girls can't because it causes holes in our head. It rips us out of our head. We can't have hair extensions. 
You know how much I wish I could be like a black girl and wear beautiful, flowing, long hair? I can't. And now I see this. Store checkout Karen loudly yells and speaks down to the poor employee who seemed to have just made an honest mistake with counting her change. Here. I'm not gonna make anybody be here now. Well, I, I tell you what, you. if you call and I tell you've got here. an IRA, I oh, will. you're always That's here. That's right, I'm always here. Yeah. Why would I want to screw you over? Because when maybe you work, guys had a rotten... When I gotta come to work, no, we actually had a pretty damn good first of the year until just now. Well, we did too until just and now. When you cheat us, if she can't cheated. add or you can't add... Oh, the machine may have made a mistake. No, the machine didn't make a mistake. Lottery doesn't make a mistake. He sure did. He counted. Yeah. We did this together. Yeah. Enraged, Karen won't stop yelling in the store and plays several victim cards while actually being the aggressor in this whole situation. Do not be racist. Pay attention to everyone. Sooner or later, you're going to get a lawsuit from me. I know. You guys are asking for it. And don't have your minions talk to me. You talk to me directly. You racist. I will scream as loud as I please. Do you understand that? You gotta get out of here. I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, you I know. guarantee you I won't be getting out of here today. Yeah, we, I we, guarantee you that. We could arrange that. 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 We could arrange that. Make me. We could arrange that. As usual, paying attention to the only black people in here. When I give you guys so much goddamn business, it's ridiculous. Why are you playing the minority card? We're all minorities. I'm not doing anything. I'm ringing up my groceries. In my best interest? What did you say? You said it's in my best interest. It's your best interest to do what you need to do. Do not speak on my child and how I raised my child. Look what you're doing. Don't speak on that. Look what you're doing. My child sees me raise my boy just like your child sees you raise your boy. Okay. My child is watching me defend myself. I want Getting him to any learn that. Doesn't help. Just it it seems it seems it. because you keep going back and forth with me. You need you. to shut up. You're very shut masculine up. about that. Shut up. You're very masculine about. Oh, that. because I'm a woman, I'm not supposed act to be going like back female. and forth with you, right? Just, just I don't have to act like a female. Yes, you do. Did you hear what he said? Act, yeah. like act like a female. I'm, like a female. I'm not Hispanic. I, I'm not a part of your machismo culture. Well, when a man talks to me, it doesn't mean I'm going to lower my voice. Do you understand that? Should. No, you should. You should lower your voice when someone speaks to you that's above you. That's okay. American culture. Is it really? And me being an attorney, you should you should lower your damn voice. Well, How about that? Do you, you like viral, that? So don't worry about that. You're not okay. gonna go anywhere. I guarantee okay, you. Okay, attorney. Just Thank you for giving me that proper title. I appreciate okay. that. Finally. Yeah. Wait, let me let me see what's going on, and I'll have you guys come back. I am speaking, not you, not you. I am speaking. Back away. You're too aggressive. You're too aggressive. Your job is to serve me. So, my friend, right? I don't speak to my children like that, though. And it's I don't, not and I don't your speak. business. Okay, then. You keep doing it. It's not your business. See how loud you get. It's not your business. See how Can you get? hear me? It is not your business. Okay. You're not hearing me. Stop talking about talk my child. Like Stop talking to my child. What you're doing? What do you mean? Look what I'm doing. Is I'm screaming CPS at you so you can mother? hear me. You, can't have you don't girl. tell me how to be a mother. Come here, Rose. Come here. Yes, go, go. You're being ordered. Go, you're being ordered. Go. Look at look how aggressive this man is. He's okay. insisting on standing here despite the supervisor's so. order. I'm doing my job. Dude. I told her stop screaming in front of your child. First you don't child tell me what to do in front of my. You do not tell me what to do in front of my. I don't tell. No, I will not. I will step. I will go ahead. I would love for you to. Carlot Karen doesn't move out of the way of the car, making this driver understandably annoyed. What are you talking about? Hey, I'm trying to leave. What are you talking about? Hey, hey, I'm trying Once to Once you get on somewhere. Some hey, hey, nobody giving you no problems. We trying to leave. We trying to leave. Hey, y'all get y'all homie, bro. Hey! Get y'all homie, bro. Hey, we trying to leave. Get y'all homie, bro. Hey! Move. Get homie up. I've been here for hey. five minutes. Get out. Hey, just get out. Get in the car, bro. Ain't nobody gonna touch Don't you. Touch Move. Bro, is, it, is this y'all homie? 
Don't touch me. Bro, move Don't around. Touch Don't touch me. Move around. Don't touch me. But we ain't gonna touch You're you. We know you gonna press charges. You You're trespassing too. You own this. Yeah. You own it? Maybe I do. You don't with them dirty Maybe feet. You I don't. Do. Them dirty feet you don't. Get on somewhere, bro. No. Plane Karen caused such a fuss that it resulted in every single passenger having to get off the plane. All because of her and her entitlement. Karen at the DMV caught being incredibly rude to the employees and even snapping at an onlooking customer who tries to calm things down. Karen screeches at the top of her lungs while proselytizing the name of God, while while marching up and down the Walmart food aisles. You are a demon! Get off the aisle! Uh, I'm going to accept it! Really? I'm going to accept it! That's right! Tell I can buy something and then I will have to release! I rebuke you all and cast you into the lake of fire in Jesus Christ's mighty name! Another plain Karen and this one is incredibly heated and could escalate at any moment. 
resulting in her being escorted off for everyone's safety. Goddamn blades! You want to be fing to me? You will see me fing pass me! You will! Grandma Karen is angry and this woman is innocently sitting in her car munching on some pizza and has no real explanation for her anger. Jim Bro Karen argues with this guy trying to compete with their workout, saying they can't be there. What'd you say we can't do? I'm Tom Austin. I'm okay. a tenant in the building. Okay. Are you? We're right. all tenants in this building. What, 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 what office? Don't worry about that. We're 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 what office? So we have an office here, and this guy came accusing us we can't be here. What yeah. office are you in? That don't worry matter. about that. We don't have to tell I'm you. I'm calling 911 now. Go ahead. Karen freaks the heck out because the line is too long and claims to have been stereotypes for shoplifting. I am absolutely horrified. What is this? I am. I am serious. Right now. Yeah, please call a manager. What is this? It's called short staff and don't. No, this don't is not called short staff. Go find another line. Okay, I will. Can I get a manager? I absolutely will. That is not what this is. I'm sorry, ma'am. No, I am not doing that. Oh, well. I have just been stereotyped for shoplifting. I'm sorry. Are you guys going to tell me I haven't? What are you guys doing? Who are you talking to? You. What, what do you mean? I'm in line. Another Karen and another issue with waiting in a line. But this time, the Karen gets told where to go. This Karen tried to cut my client in line at Target. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I want and the back up. right here now. And back up. And this is all on video. I didn't do anything wrong. Exactly, because you thought you were going to get in front of me. Exactly. Who are you talking to? You. You're not talking to me. <laughs> I am trying to make a return here. Like, and that's exactly what I'm doing. Get so why you think you're so entitled? You thought you were going to come and stand in front of me? And then I correct you about what you did. You thought you were going to come and get in my face. We're not I'm doing not that today. Face. You did get in my face. I and know. I got it on video. Stop playing Whatever. with me. Stop playing with me. Okay. I was here first. I came the correct way, like all customers should. Just get done. She jumped. I'm not talking to you. She jumped in front of me. And this young lady knows she came from this way. And then she said, Well, I have a return. Ma'am, I'm already standing right here. Just get it over with. Right. Wait, you made a big deal about it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You did. Now stop playing with me. For real. I can take over here. Last warning, lady. Really Last warning. $31.59. Okay. Do you, you need my card? card? Do you want it back on your debit card? You can give it to me in cash. Cash? Yeah. Oh, we're done. Mm -hmm. Can you reset that one? The one here. Yeah, I put the two. You got the right one today. Like, are you kidding me? 
Delusional Karen threatens to drive over this guy's bike and to pepper spray him, seemingly just because she can. Ooh, that's, that's disgusting. Why are you taking a picture of me? What are you doing? For evidence. Okay, for evidence? Yeah. Evidence of what? I'm literally just standing here. All right, I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. I'm just gonna leave now, all right? I'm taking my bike. No, you're not taking that bike. Nibble, what did you say? Nibble! Lady. You want I, listen, I promise I won't be on the road anymore. How about that? No, I, I won't Nibble, be on the road. Wait, I'm taking my bike and I'm leaving, no, all right? You're not leaving. Yeah. What did you say, Nibble? Did you tell me to run over his bike? What do you mean? Don't run over my bike. What are you doing? Nibble told me to do it. What are you? Don't do it. Nibble told me to do it. Stop. Stop, lady. Stop. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I don't want trouble. I don't... Okay, what is that? Is that, is that pepper spray? Pepper spray. Okay, okay. You Alright, I'm backing off. Please, please. I, 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 I promise I'll leave. Don't run over my bike. I just bought that. That bike is new. Please, please. Mail car Karen yells at this man on his bike and gets so enraged, he gets out of his car to escalate things. Three miles an hour for one. Yeah. You're dumber than a box of rocks. You're not wearing a helmet. I'll call a cop on you, buddy. What? All right, go for it. What did There's he do no wrong? He's going 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour. On a bike? 10 miles an hour. Just drive off. Just drive off. Just drive off. Stop. Call the cops. Call the cops right now. What are you doing? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Son of One of the guys on board. Okay. Do you want to be fined? I can do that. Are you getting, why are you getting in our face for Because this thing is going too fast. It's two stroke. I don't, like, I don't care what it 30. is. I don't care what it is. We have little kids. So stop being dramatic. I'm not. Oh, you stop being dramatic. How? We're not 50. You were doing 50. <laughs> 50, oh, right. 50 Two minutes. stroke. Two yeah, stroke on a 50. That, that doesn't even question. go 50. Yeah, right. That what doesn't even that? go 50. That goes 15. Oh, the fuck. Insane Starbucks Karen rudely yells at employees after not getting what she wants before storming out in protest. <laughs> Things get incredibly heated at the Walmart pharmacy with this Karen screaming so loud the veins pop out on her neck. This has to be one of the most petulant displays of Karen behavior. Karen is upset a leaf blew into her garden from her neighbor's leaf blowing service. Now, that's kind of pathetic. When you live next door to a Karen. Karen's love to interfere with other people's livelihoods, just like this Karen clip demonstrates. Uh, hello? Hello? What are you doing? Uh, like, a couple of weeks ago there was grass there. Yeah. Now, what's this? Well, yeah, I, I, I renovated my garden. But what is it? Is it real grass? No, it's, no, it's not real grass, it's artificial. Oh, so you actually admitted it. What? Admit what? Well, that it's not real grass. I mean, we have people, we had neighbours here for years and years that kept this beautiful lawn really really nice okay yeah yeah and it was really nice it was nice for all the flora and fauna for the birds and squirrels and now 
you've just gone and ripped it all up and ruined everything. Well, yeah, because because I've renovated my garden. Yeah, but that's not renovating. You've destroyed things that have been here for years. Well, no. Well, like, what, why is it your problem? And why are you in my back garden? Because I live next door and it affects me. Okay. It affects all the other neighbours. So, Solomon, have you, ha, did you jump over my fence? Uh, I, I just kind of got in here, yeah. Okay, so, 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 okay, so you've now admitted, yeah, breaking into my house, firstly, yeah? Well, I'm not in your house, I'm just looking at the lawn. Yeah. Because your, your lawn backs onto my lawn. Okay, but it's none of your business, though, is it? Yeah, but all, like, the, all the bees have stopped coming over, and okay. all, the, all the birds, and all the squirrels. Okay, well, that's good for them, though, isn't it? It's, it's winter time, it's time for them to go sleep and hibernate. Well, no, but it wasn't really your part. I mean, what kind of idiot actually goes and just rips up a lawn and puts that down? It's just completely stupid. It's not stupid, is it? As in, like, I didn't want to maintain it. One. It's been maintained for the last 50 years. Well, it? well, yeah, like, <laughs> I've only moved here, like, a year ago, okay, yeah? And, like, I wanted to do it up. And, like, if you see them trees over there as well, we're going to get rid of them as well. They look very nice. Well, it looks well, great it's to me. better. You know, we had a garden every week, and we'd come and mow the lawn and have the lovely smell Well, of like, are you going to pay for the gardener? Of course not. You see them trees over there as well, we're going to get rid of them as well. You're going to get rid of them? Yeah. Why? Because we don't want them trees there. Right. Okay. Well, you know, there are conservation orders around here and you can't just get rid of everything that you want. Well, I can actually back there because the back part is mine. Right. So, so, so well, I can. I'm very disappointed. You've only, you haven't been here very long, have you? Well, no, I haven't, but, but like... Even if, even if, even if, if a he likes to have everything how it was traditionally. Okay, but traditionally. yeah, but this is my back garden. This is my home. Why have you jumped over your fence to then come here? Because it was disturbing me. It was disturbing you the fact that I've got fake grass. Yeah. Well, that's that's insane. Like, like you've basically uh, climbed on my property because I've got fake grass. Do you know how silly that sounds? It's not silly. It's uh, it's the truth. I don't think this looks very nice, and I don't think it's very nice for our neighbourhood either. Well, like, you know I what? I suggest that you change your back. How am I going to change your back? You get some up, you can just take it off and just put the other grass back in, plant seeds. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. Another example of Karen's interfering, with this neighbour Karen causing unnecessary friction between them and the person they have to live next to for years on end. Karen employee isn't happy these guys are using a scooter to get around the store and claims they're harassing her. Because you are harassing me. What? Yo, yo, what? We're harassing you. Yes. You don't have to be walking with us. You don't have to be walking with us. Yeah. How are we harassing you? You know how many people are there? Yeah, there's no five. You're going to sue for what? We can sue you. For? What are you You're working on Walmart. Yeah, what's the law on that? What's the law on that? Do you have health benefits? Do you know I have a master's degree? And you work at Walmart? There you go. With a master's degree? Insane Karen tries to break into her neighbor's home on Christmas Eve. This is just loony. Karen aggressively yells at this young dude who seems to just find the whole encounter hilarious. Look, she's crying because I hit her bumper with. You hit my oh, bumper. Le pegue. You, hit it. you hit my bumper. <laughs> hey, God bless you. You have a good day. You have a good day. You have a good day. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, shut up, Karen. Karen. Aggressive Karen yells at this poor boy just trying to have some fun on his new bike in a public road. But this Karen seems to be trying to scare the bejesus out of him as if she's the villain of a horror film. This is a public road. This is a public road. I'm not backing up for you. We're all tired of this. You're on this road again and the cops will be here. They've always been here. They don't care. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You do not belong.
call it. And then the little boy will find out whether they care or not. Is that is that Plane Karen causes so much chaos that when she's escorted off the plane for her behavior, the whole plane cheers. Crazy Karen accuses her neighbor of having trees that somehow throw garbage into her front lawn. Karen logic works in weird ways. I have a videotape Shut of you doing. What garbage? What garbage? This garbage that, that is in the landing from your trees. It's landing from my trees. That's yes. exactly and then correct. You are it in my yard. <laughs> Car Karen gets owned by this woman who has clearly dealt with this Karen one too many times before. That's my business! That's my business! So literally what you're saying is you're in my business! So what you're saying is you're my business because they're not in harm! They're injured! None of that! Yeah, they are. Literally, the cops and CPS have came multiple times and they're like, oh, nothing is wrong. Your kids are perfectly fine. Angry Karen throws an insane public tantrum and viciously attacks this car, over them blocking the crosswalk. Karen mad because crosswalk is blocked. Enraged, Karen gets upset at the Walmart checkout and yells the store down, drawing attention from the other innocent shoppers. Racist Karen harasses a pregnant woman and thinks the fact that she's disabled makes it okay. Here she comes, harassing. Here she comes, harassing me. I'm gonna call the cops on you for harassing. Well, you're gonna have a tough time with that. 
Yeah, you are too. Because you literally just come up to me and just harassing. No, I'm not. I'm yeah, you are. You. No, actually, you asked me really rudely. If you would have asked me nicely, you know, I would have definitely gotten out. Yeah, well, you are too. No, I'm not. I'm a handicapped person. Need the freaking parking place. Okay. Papers here. I'm actually American here, okay? It's people like like you. Yeah, I'm racist. Yep. Yeah. I know. Oh, you here just sitting in the parking lot. It's already gonna get out. And of course she can't she comes to me can you get out of the parking lot rude as hell so no i'm gonna sit here then rude male karen duo gets aggressive with the woman doing an absolute stellar job of remaining calm in the face of not only verbal abuse but blank racism Man, that's disgusting Sir, how can I help you? Ooh. I'm disabled. I'm in a wheelchair. I have a right to go to the head of the line. No, you do not. Yes, I do. That's no. the law. It is the law. You do not get Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And go to the head of the line. You don't go to the head of the line. You call a manager out here. You're not the manager. And we have preference over appointments. No, you do not. Even if I don't have an appointment. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, you do not. Yes, I do. Are you the manager? Even when I'm in the grocery store. Is there somebody above you? And what are you going to do? Are you going to assist us or just badger us? As soon as the rest of the people are helped, you're going to be placed in line where you need to be. What are you going to do? You're going to badger us for 15 minutes and not help us? I suggest you go to your law books and you find out that I'm right. Sir, what it has is that you will be having a certain spot that's a set Whoa. aside for you. Whoa, that's not even not correct. You don't know what you're talking about. Tell me what the ADA law is then if you know what it is. That you have certain spaces set aside specifically. No, 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 no. When I go to the grocery store, they tell me to go to the head of the line. I always go to the head of the line, even in the grocery store. It's a state office, and how dare you work for the state and not even know what the ADA laws are? I do know what they are. No, you don't. Then why are you badgering us and not helping? Tell me what the ADA law is when it, when it comes to a line of people. You did not tell me. To go to the end of the line, she says. It does not say go to the end of the line. Sure. That's Here's the paperwork. Okay. Assist us. As soon as the rest of the Why no, are you just sitting the there taking the up time and not assisting us and telling us to go to the end of the line? You know that's not even right. Maybe in your country it is where you're from. You don't know what the, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know nothing about ADA laws at all. Period. Okay. You can't this even is, tell me what part of the law book it's been. This is a different when country. It was even I'm not sure Enough what country you're in. Enough of that. We're in America. Yes, America has laws yes, for the disability. Yes. You're sitting there saying, yes, you are, no, you aren't. Oh, Why don't you do the paperwork? Get the cops here. I want the police here. This man just assaulted my son. Yes, he did. He took my camera. That's assault. That's robbery. That's theft. Get my son here. Thank you. What happened? We're you disabled. We're disabled. Come on. That's fine. Come back to my office. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. This we guy this right guy here, we want to... Karen throws a tantrum at her neighbor for parking in her space, despite no one in the apartment block having any reserved spaces. Hello? Hello? Hello. Do you right? realize you're parking in my space? What do you mean to park in your space? This is my space. I live here. Yeah, I, I live here as well. But how long have you been living here for? I don't know. I don't know, less than a year? Well, then, and do you own your place? No, 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 well, I don't. I, I have lived here for more than 10 years. I own my flat and this is my parking space. Yeah, but the, yeah, but the space is not reserved though, are they? But I've been here for 10 years. 10 okay. years I've always parked here. Okay, but that's fine, yeah. 10 years, yeah, but I'm saying like, you can park right there, you can park right there. Why but can't you park right there the for? this is the space that I yeah, always park in. Yeah, but it's not reserved though, it's not reserved. Everyone knows that. 
it's my space. Yeah, but this parking is not reserved there for you, is it? Like, Look, I rent it's here. My space. I can park well, then here. you can move over there. But but why do I need to move over there for? You can move there. You see what happened here? That's what you get when you be rude, you know what I mean? I'm not being rude. You I'm are making being rude. a point. What point? This what is point my are you making? space. I've been living here for 10 years. I've always been in the same space all that time. And I don't see why you, who's just been living here in a rented apartment for one okay, year. Okay, if it's rented or owned yet, it's none of your business. But. Hold on a minute. I've been I, here I for didn't realise these years. spaces have people's names on it. Like, you've got that one there, you've got that one there. They don't have your name on it. You can just park no, but anywhere. I've always parked here. I've always parked here for the last 10 years. But you can park somewhere else. There's here. parking there. There's parking there. This parking is not reserved, like I've said. Well, then why don't you park over there? Because I've, I've, I was here first. But this is my space. I've been here for 10 years. I've always parked in this space. So, you know, if you move over there, I can park in my space. But you can just park there? I want to park in this space i've used it for 10 years and i really really want to park here i'd like you to go That's over fine. there please no. now no I'm, I'm i'm not going anywhere i've parked my car yeah the car is turned off now yeah i'm gonna leave my car with my friend yeah and then go back upstairs to my apartment but the thing is yeah over there right it, it, it would be an easier walk to to your apartment yeah because i'm saving your little legs here you see Thank you very much. So obviously we're parking over away for our young legs. I'd still like to have this space. It's the one I've always parked in, and I'd like if to park in If you want this space, yeah, that's great for you. Come, come here another time. I might not be here. Right. I might park there. But it's a fact that I'm parked here now, yeah. I said my bit. The thing is, if you ask like me nicely, if you ask me nicely, yeah. I've been here for ten if you years. Ask me that, that's fine. Ten years. That's fine. And you're just renting an apartment. But it doesn't matter if I'm renting or if I'm owning, you know what I mean? Like, it, it, well, it doesn't matter. You need that bit of respect. Really you're just wasting your time here. Because we ain't moving. We've parked here now, the engine's off, you're we're so about rude. to get out. You're so and then you come over anyway. and start whinging. Like, at the end of the day, you just park somewhere else and everyone will be happy. I'd like you to move. You just feel that's so that's entitled because word. you've been here for 10 years. 10 years? I'm saying entitled. Ten, 10 years have been parked here. Male Karen argues with a flight attendant, resulting in the feds having to be called onto the plane. What is your option for me? There isn't an option. Do I have a seat in this room? If you accept this seat, or if you don't accept the economy, just only food tables. Aggressive beach Karen loudly argue and get up all in this woman's face, but she isn't having any of it. Elsewhere you can, but this is our house. No, this is a public beach. I but don't care. I no, don't cut, care. No, I was turning in. No. No, no, that wasn't why I... Hey, don't get near my kids. Don't do that. Don't. Don't. Get out my face. Get out of my face. No, you walked up to me, man. Get out of my face. I am recording. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out. This is not your house. This is not your house. You were getting aggressive pumping at us No, I'm coming pulling in. I'm 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 pulling in. This guy has clearly had enough of this nightmare Karen neighbor who tries to tell this man to put his dog on a leash while he's in his own yard, despite her dog being the one viciously barking. You know what? You go and get yourself help. Yeah, I will. You need it. I'll Come get on. help. I'm getting rid of my crazy neighbor. Away from mine. Uh, this is my yard, you. No, your dog has got to be on a leash. Really? He's standing in my yard. But he's supposed to be on a leash. Come on, buddy. Come on, Aiden. Let's go. Yeah, Aiden, take your barking. You know what? Watch your language. I'm 41, Patty. I'm 40.
take all these pictures, you get your dog away from mine. Shut the f Your dog is not even on a leash. You're right, because he ain't doing sh hard. Oh, you know what? He has to be on a leash, according to my vet. Come on, Aiden. <laughs> Look how here. my dog is being, you You know what? Your dog is barking, acting a fool. My dog is wagging his tail. This is our f***ing yard. I don't care what you say. He needs to be in a fenced yard, or he needs to be... Why? Be your dog's in a... You're the one that needs a fence yard. Your dog be attacking people. Oh, he has not. Bubba loves everybody except. And your dog shouldn't have an owner like you. Well, guess what? He has somebody that protects him. Oh, good. So you fuck dog, you fuck me. What? Babe, no. Encountering your first wild Karen can either be a painfully annoying experience or something you find ironic joy in. And this guy clearly is enjoying his first Karen encounter. Do one more no. trip. Please. I said no, I called him. Please, let me do one more trip. I call the out here. Okay, so if I don't put down this shopping cart, you're gonna call the cart go to me or I call him. Wait, so if I don't put down this shopping cart, you're gonna call the police. Yes, I will. Oh my god, I'm getting the first Karen interaction. <laughs> I'm getting my first Karen interaction, bro! <laughs> I'm getting my first Karen! <laughs> Let the cart go! Ah! 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 Karen harasses fast food employees and has the audacity to step behind a counter to try and find out the employee's name. No, I want to know your name. Well, you called me. No, what is your name? Because I'm you called me. Okay. Angry Karen threatens to call corporate at the local pizza place after having to wait over 30 minutes for her order. The guy at the end perfectly reflects how most of us feel when we see a Karen act like these. Leonard, Regina Leonard. It was eight pizzas. Seven, 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 seven. It was eight pizzas. I'm wondering why it was more than 30 minutes late. Because we have several big orders and they have in line. One, I ordered at one o'clock this afternoon. I understand that, man, but it goes in line with the way it pops up. I can't stand it. I'm calling corporate. Please do. Because I will. Because, because I want because my money back. Big orders I ahead want to. Because we have big orders ahead of you, too. You wasn't the only one that had a big order for you. But you can leave my store. We don't have time. Have a good night. Oh, yeah. No, you'll be hearing from corporate. Believe me. I just want a pizza. That's all I want. Jim Bro encounters a Jim Karen and left staring into the abyss in complete disbelief. Crazy Karen gets out of her car to cut in front of this truck while in the drive-thru. The entitlement is unreal. You couldn't just wait in line? Well, you were taking forever. Your stupid truck is this big. I mean, why is your truck that big? But you cut me in line. It doesn't matter. I, I would have been up here first, but your truck is right here. should be illegal it should be illegal to have a truck this big what, what, what for, for what you know what you know what you know what i may just call i may just call i get a grande iced wow. macchiato <laughs> placed in a minty cup with extra eyes This teen isn't taking any of this crazy Karen's antics, who thinks she has the authority to take this phone from him. But this kid clearly knows his rights and isn't backing down. You go, kid. No, I'm retarded, fuck. I, I wish you were a guy now. Oh my god. Oh, you are so tough. Oh my god. You, you can just go along. Have a great day. Sorry about what happened. How about you go I'm trying to be nice to you. Oh, you little twit. <laughs> you have a great day.
Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. That goddamn phone. You're not gonna touch right? my phone. This is, hey, take my hoverboard, take my hoverboard. This is my property. You're not gonna touch my property. Grab my hoverboard. This is my property. You're not gonna touch my pro your property. You no, 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 no. This is my property. My phone is my property. Your parents pay for your phone. It doesn't matter. It's still my property. You do not have the right to touch my phone. It doesn't matter if my name's on it. It's still my property. Enjoy your video. Put it on Facebook. I will. I have the right. This is this is public property. I can record you. I can record your face. I'll go record your license plate. If you assault me, I will get you arrested. I will get you arrested. Life over so why are you gonna like you I try to I try to apologize and you have it quit walking towards me quit walking towards me you, you assault me and I will assault you you was, don't assault me don't ass don't make fun of him because he has a list who cares all right whatever you have a great day you have a great day we're not gonna touch you I tried being polite to you I tried being polite to you yes you did this had nothing to do and I tried telling you to move on and have a great day. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. And you have no business coming down. You have no business coming towards me, threatening or not threatening me. You can't even keep your mouth shut long enough. You have no respect. I have no respect. Seriously. Do something. Your parents. Do something. Something. Do something. Assault me. I dare you. I won't. Do it exactly, you, you know. Like, dude, I'm not even gonna. You're not even worth my time. I'm not gonna cuss you out. I'm not gonna say anything. I tried being nice to you. I tried telling you just to move on. Let him. You. It doesn't matter. You don't know where I live. Oh, is that a threat? Is that a threat? Have fun. Is that a threat? Let me get this license plate. Let's get that license plate. Oh yeah, license plate. That's the license plate. She's trying to hit me with her car now. I think you just got that on video. I got that on video. You just tried hitting my hitting me with your car. All right, I'm just gonna go to your parents' house. All right. You don't know where I live. It won't be hard to figure out. You're out. All the time. I don't even live in this neighborhood. But go ahead. Cause I have a right to be in this neighborhood. They're my friends. I can walk wherever I want. This is public property. This is public property. You just tried hitting me with your car. You cannot do that. Yes, you did. I got it on video. I was right here, and you put it in reverse and tried hitting me. And she's I coming out of the car. To record my license plate. I can record your license plate all I want. You're in public property. I have the and right. I can break that phone. No, you can't. This is public property. You need to learn your rights. This is public you property. Are, you're a minor. I just you're like exactly. 10. I'm a minor. You you're cannot like assault 10. me. You they cannot assault. Out of the road. I wasn't in the you road. We have it on video. Time. Quit walking towards me. Quit walking you towards me. Quit walking. Quit walking towards me. Quit walking towards me. Quit walking towards me. I feel threatened right now. Leave me alone. I feel threatened. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. You just tried hitting me with your car. That's assault. You're not as tough as you think you are. I know I'm not tough. I know I'm not tough. Exactly. You're not gonna touch my phone. I'll put my phone in your face. You're not gonna assault me. You're not gonna walk towards me. Goddamn phone in a gutter. Do it. But how about you keep it? I, I listen, 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 yeah, we got all this on video. Have fun. I'm I'll, I'll have a great time. I'll have a great time. You know what it takes these days, man? Are you kidding me? What is wrong with people these days, dude? Karen aggressively yells at fast food employees and threatens to call the police, who she thinks will force the employees to give her her wings. Onlooking customers get involved too, unable to watch her employee harassment.
I do not have my cell phone. Call the police. You guys are full of BS. That's what you do in California. That's what y'all do in California. Yo, call the police. Give me, give me my wing and I'll be out of here. Give me my wing. I don't know what this piece of chicken is. And I guarantee you, if the police comes over, they're going to tell you to give me my wing. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Can somebody call 911 and call the police, please? I don't much time have my cell phone. If I had my cell phone, I would do it myself. No, 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 it's no damn sorry. You are full of BS. Well, you are full of well, BS. Yes. Give me my wing and I'll be out. Girl, listen, this is going to stand up in any corporate America. This is going to stand up in any corporate This is your advertisement. If, listen, you working here. You working here making, I don't know what you making. Listen, dear, what you want to do? Get out of my face. What you want to do? Listen, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Get out of my, listen, no, 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 no. Listen, get out of my face. Get out of my, no, no, no. Listen, call the police. Call, call the police. I do not have my cell phone. Listen, dear, I don't care about you. Okay, so what are you, what are you, listen, see your. You come down. I don't need you to come, come down. down. You can yeah, listen. What are you? Listen, dear. Take and sit down. No. Sit no. your no. down. You ain't got nothing to do. Talk to the knife. Talk to the knife. I don't have to. Why? I don't care. Let's go ahead and pay for it. Pay for it. What do you need? What you bothering them for? Listen, do you work here? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I work here. Yes, I do. Okay, okay. Yes, I do. Okay, so honor. Yes, I do. Okay, so honor. My receipt. Mm -hmm. Listen, dear, your call ass. What you got to do? What you got to do? Karen gets owned by this guy playing her at her own game, as she calls the police on him for who knows what. What's your name? What is my name? What is your name? Ben. Ben what? Ben Dover. His name is Ben Dover, and he's spinning you away Karen freaks out because the crosswalk is blocked. Damn. Someone must have woken up on the wrong side of their Karen cocoon. Karen mad because crosswalk is blocked? Pathetic car Karen endlessly blares their horn trying to annoy the woman in front of them. But she clearly had dealt with far too many car Karens before and patiently waits out the car Karen's motivation to continue annoying her. Y'all see these Karens over here? Y'all see these Karens? Because they decide to block two pumps and we right here to go in this store. They think they obligated for us to move and ain't nobody behind them. They must think that's gonna bother me honking their horn. Cause it don't bother me. They look so ignorant. Look how these folks looking at them coming out the store. Cause they could have been done left by now. But cause they wanted to be rude, I decided to sit here for a little while. While my homegirl went in the store. So now they just want to blow their horn, I guess. Because they don't have anything else to do. <laughs> yeah.
These folks ain't got shit else to do. But watch this. I'm going to cut the car off. And we can just sit here. She looks so stupid. And she think it's bothering me. It ain't bothering me, it's just bothering other people. <sighs> Got this little boy plugging his ears and Cause she wanted to cut some folks out for parking right here at the store. And drove up to my car. Like all the way up to my car. All this shit. <laughs> Y'all see these Karens in the car? Y'all see these Karens? Ignorance at its finest. Oh, what else can I get out the store, you guys? Let me go get me a pop since I'm going to be sitting here for a while. Let me get me a pop. Male Karen argues with a whole host of tourists at the local park because they're enjoying the busker and he thinks she's not allowed to be there. Karens really do just love to ruin everyone's fun. Yes. And this is a designated... Are you a tourist? Huh? Are you a tourist? Are you a tourist? Are you a tourist? Okay. Excuse me. She's not supposed to be here. That's okay. There's a way to say it. There's a way to say it. Are you tourists? No, I live here. So what? What does it matter? Because you know you're tourists. You're, you're here for five minutes. We live here. Huh? No. Speaking of she, she's not supposed to be here. Now go. You don't live here. Go mind your own. Let's go. Fine. Okay. If you have a problem. Yeah, walk away. You have a problem? You go find somebody who works in the park. I don't have a problem. I'm That's fine. She's not supposed to be here. Let her go. Let her go. Where she's supposed to be. Anywhere but here. This is a quiet farm. It's well established. Where? Where does it say? You're losing this argument. I'm going with it. You have a problem. You go find a cop. You go find a cop. I, I don't care. Right, you're 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 me right now. Just walk okay. away and leave like, You've embarrassed no, yourself you know enough. Honey, you're tourists. You're here. Oh, you don't live here. Oh, Fine. Do you come to the park every day? I live no. here. Do He's got to hear this beautiful day? singing all day long. This neighborhood? Do you have to listen to this every day? Okay? She's not supposed to be here. It is a quiet zone. It is an established quiet zone. You're not you supposed to be. Oh, 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 no, this is going crazy on me. Hey, 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 boss, there's a quiet zone. Can we all stop getting out of kids? All right? Thank you. It's a quiet zone, right? Can we all calm down a little bit? Can you just leave her alone? I'm not. I'm not. She's not around here. She's not around here. No, I have to. This is my. This is my. I live here. I have the park. Let me get to get to people and attack me. Maybe I can I no, excuse me. I don't have to listen to Hawk because no, she's not don't. supposed you to be here. I play, I play, I play a lot more taxes there. than you do. Oh. However, <laughs> whoever you are, wherever yeah. you come from. Go walk over there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to listen you to her. I'm going to walk in. She can tone it down, okay? Or she can leave. You sound like you're a Christian. You should mind your own business. You should mind yours. Bye, bye, go. So long. Bye, bye. So long. Chow. I'm not going anywhere. Bye, bye. Go. 
I'm not going anywhere. Oh, He's singing. What's your problem? Go! She's not protecting me. Entitled Karen threatens a lawsuit at Ralph's employees, and despite being the aggressor, had the audacity to play both the race and a woman card. Well, that's just gross, ain't it? At Ralph's Please. employees for doing their job. Okay, you as well. Continue. You're disgusting and you're disgusting too. Don't not be Pay attention to everyone. Sooner or later, you're going to get a lawsuit from me. I know, you guys are asking for it. And don't have your minions talk to me. You talk to me directly. I will scream as loud as I please. Do you understand that? You gotta get out of here. I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, I guarantee you I won't be getting out of here today. Yeah, we can, I we, guarantee we can arrange you that. that. For that. We can arrange that. Make me. We can arrange that. They're usual. Paying attention to the only black in here. When I give you guys so much goddamn business, it's ridiculous. Why are you playing the minority card? We're all minorities. I'm not doing anything. I'm ringing up my groceries. In my best interest? What did you say? You said it's in my best interest. It's your best interest to do what you need to do. Do not speak on my child and how I raised my child. Look what you're doing. Don't speak on that. Look what you're doing. My child sees me raise my voice just like your child sees you raise your voice. Okay. My child is watching me defend myself. I want him to learn that. It doesn't help. It, it seems, it seems because you keep going back and forth with me. You Should need you. to shut up. You're very shut masculine up. about that. Shut up. You're very masculine about that. Oh, because I'm a woman, I'm not supposed act to be like going back female. and forth with you, right? right? Just, just I don't have to act right? like a yes, female. You Did you hear what he said? Act, yeah. like act like a female. I'm not Hispanic. I, I'm not a part of your machismo culture. Well, when a man talks to me, it, it doesn't mean no. I'm going to lower my voice. Do you understand that? Should. No, you should. You should lower your voice when someone speaks to you that's above you. That's okay. American culture. Really? And me being an attorney, you should you should lower your well, How about that? Do you, you like viral, that? So don't worry about that. You're not okay. going to go anywhere, I guarantee you. Okay, that. attorney. Just Thank you for giving me that proper title. I appreciate okay. that. Finally. Yeah. Wait, let me, let me see what's going on. And, and I'll have you guys come back. I have a I am speaking, not you. Not you. I am speaking. Back away. You're too aggressive. You're too aggressive. Your job is to serve me. So my friend, 40 years old, to my son, 60 years old, all of them come back and tell me that they have a face for this woman. Of her accusing them, being watchful of them, things like that. So I said, okay, I'm going to She mentioned my name. I'm not even, I don't know who that person is. I told her, I've lived on this earth for 15 years of my life. I'm also an attorney. That should be me that you're intimidating my body.
that are one to woman. It's like she don't intend to talk how aggressive she was. You're talking to me and she's trying to come into you and, oh, earth, favor, earth, favor, what have you. And then he jumps into it as her savior because she told him, like, I saw her. So she told him to say something. And he's a mini, he's an idiot, so of course he feels best to jump into her and then he tell her, you're a female, you need to lower your voice. That's I'm very familiar with Hispanic culture with my best friends or Hispanic some of them. And I know it's machismo, you know, the man is loud, but that's not the culture that I'm from. Okay? When I feel like I'm not fever, that's when I get loud. I'm not naturally a loud person. What do my natural characteristics mean? That's not naturally calm. Naturally calm. Take accountability. I wouldn't do it if my husband was here. Or her husband. He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't do it if my husband was here. And he wouldn't do it if my son was here. Because that would have caused a big problem. You're just that. telling the truth. Oh. It's your job. And that's fine. You can feel that all the time. But you cannot come out and talk to me. You hear this? No, you when have to tell the child that I will get through, that is so aggressive. Or how to speak to them, that's your child your responsibility. Right, I don't speak to my children like that, though. And it's I don't, not and I don't your speak. business. But it's okay, not then. you keep doing it. It's not your business. See how loud you get? It's not your business. See how Can loud you get? Can you hear me? It is not your business. Okay. You're not hearing me. Stop talking about talk to my like child. Stop talking to my child. Look what you're doing. What do you mean, look what I'm doing? I'm screaming at you so you can mother. hear me. You, you don't tell me how to be a mother. Come here, Rose. Come here. Yes, go, go. You're being ordered. Go, you're being ordered. Go. Look at look how aggressive this man is. He's insisting on standing here despite the supervisor's job, order. I'm doing my job. I told her, stop screaming in front of your child. First you don't child, tell me what to do in front of my child. You do not tell me what to do in front of my child. I don't tell. No, I will not. I will step I will, Go ahead. Step I would love for you to. I would. Angry Karen confronts this mother about how to look after her child. But the mother isn't willing to listen to someone who doesn't even have kids themselves. <laughs> and rightly so. Enraged car Karen encounter gets heated when this guy can't get the Karen to back up and let him out. His frustration is palpable. Weirdest white y'all have ever seen, but this is that white people weird All that extra All you gotta do is bag up and go. You don't own the road. You don't tell nobody what to do. Go on, on about your business and go. You don't tell me which way to go. Ma'am, get the f*** on away from me. I don't want to talk to you. Goodbye. Bye. Back up. You can't tell me where to go. Back up. Are you? I've never seen you. You are. What are you doing? You have some kind of. Y'all got problems. Y'all are weird, man. Back up, lady. Show where your car is. Back up. Lady, back up. It don't matter where my car is at. Go. Yeah, you doing all this extra arguing. This lady won't even let me back up. She ain't telling me where to go.
Karen doesn't like this guy's little joke and gets sassy herself, throwing her drink all over the car. First. Oh, congrats on being first at Chili's. I don't appreciate your sarcasm. What are- Insanely enraged Karen yells during a baseball game and even her husband is clearly embarrassed by her behavior. Crazy Karen won't stop screaming at this poor woman who has clearly explained several times it's the machine that isn't working and not her fault. But is she listening? <laughs> you be the judge. I'm serious. Is there a problem with the machine? I'm yes, I already said that. There's a problem with the machine. It's not me. Well, well if there's a problem, we'll have to go somewhere else. So go somewhere else. It has my card, lady. It has all of my money in it. Goodbye. Have a wonderful well, day. It's not my problem. It's your problem. You're the one screaming at me first. Your is no good. You don't have any money in there. It's the machine. It's have a wonderful day, Karen. Love you. I love you. Oh. Now I'm sitting here. Angry male Karen isn't happy that this guy is trying to live out his dream by busking in public and gives him a lecture right there and then. Angry male Karen makes me quit music forever. This is what I love in this time. He's got a good fucking ears. I'm a musician, I know. This guy's a musician. Have you got Instagram? Please, everyone unfollow me because I'm a bad singer. Go and follow this guy. Oh, do you want to promote yourself? Because I'm telling everyone to unfollow me. I'm going to quit music. I'm going to run a business right there. Well, obviously that's my business. Well, that's what I'm saying. Promote it. Do you play guitar? Do you sing? Are you in a band? Music? What music? Promote it. Well, you came here I'm looking for some kind of attention. You want some No, no, I don't want any attention. I just want to stop hearing your horrible voice. It's not got a horrible voice, man. Uh, he has it, so I don't get why you're keeping on. He's doing something that me, he wants. Customers are asking me what chains they want. I'm asking what colours do they want. Yeah, so I'm doing something that he wants. Other people have complained. It's not just me. They've complained as well. No, no. Oh, that's right. Happy birthday. 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 Happy Entitled Karen wants to be personally escorted to her room to prove her point, but this employee is adamant she's wrong. Well, who do you think is right? When you encounter a Karen at work, yeah, Art. I want to speak to a manager. I am now. a manager, ma'am. Do what you gotta do. Okay, we can walk you up. Or I can no, call you're the not gonna and... walk me up to my room and show me my phone ma ma to prove to you that I have a reservation. Ma'am, you clearly stayed in the room past 5:30 last night. Yeah, I did because I thought I had another. Notebooks. You never booked another one, ma'am. Yes, I did. Okay, so there's no issue. And then no you want me to show you proof? Yes, so I can see it because it's not in my system. And what if it's not in my phone? How would it not? How if many you hundreds of dollars do you want me to pay you to look in my phone, to go to my room and look in my phone? Ma'am, you paid that seventy-five dollars yesterday. Yeah. To stay until five thirty. You did not leave at five thirty. You did not make another reservation. I did pick a reservation. That's so that's, that's what I'm what saying. All you have on. to do is show you're me saying, the reservation, ma'am. All I'm asking is for you to show me the confirmation number. You're saying you're going to walk me to my room to show, to have proof in my yes, phone. Yes, because if I don't see First the proof, I can't allow you to stay in that on. room. There's internet, ma'am. All you have to do is connect to the Wi-Fi. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's go. I've, I tried to come down here to smoke a cigarette, but is this funny to you? I'm, am I laughing? 
I'm not laughing, man. I came out to smoke a cigarette, and now you're saying, get out of our hotel and provide me money. I didn't say that at she all. she didn't say that. that. That's what you're insinuating. You're going to go to my not. I'm making sure. Show me. Proof. I'm making sure that you actually made a reservation, because I already caught you in one lie when you said that you spoke with a woman here. There's no other woman besides me that worked yesterday. I did speak with a woman. You couldn't have yesterday afternoon spoke with a woman, ma'am. That's impossible. You want to go to my room and look for proof? I'm not looking for doing? proof. All I said was show me the reservation, confirmation number that you made. You, just said that you, you said that you booked it on your phone. Yes. All you have to do is show me the email confirmation number so I can pull it up in the system and see where the res reservation is because I don't see it. But if I don't see proof of a new right, reservation and there's not one in let's my go. system, then I can't allow you to stay in that room, ma'am. So, okay, so now you're telling me that you're not going to allow me to stay in the room. If I don't have proof that you made another reservation to be in that room. Yep, yep. Then yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. You need to call somebody. Um, call, 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 no, call, no, no. Call, I'm call, not going to call nobody because yeah, I'm yeah, the manager, man. Yeah, you do. You're not going to tell me you're going up to my room and showing me proof. Ma'am, no. if you made no. a reservation, no. it shouldn't no. be that no. No. hard no. for you no. to no. give no. me the confirmation. No, no, no. Yeah, because yeah. that's yeah. what I'm about to do. Yeah. Just I'm just going to call the police to escort you out, ma'am. Okay. That's okay. fine. Because I can open the door so that you can get your things, but the police will come and escort you No, you're not you even giving me that option. You're being like crazy. How am I doing? Ma'am, I'm You're like, you're not staying another night. Ma'am. I'm talking to you as calm as I can be. All I did was ask for proof of the reservation. You're being crazy. How? You're telling me that I have to get out of my room I right now? It was I didn't say. Right. Is, do you have proof of the reservation, ma'am? That's all I said. I don't know. You can go look at my phone. You can search. Do whatever you want to do. Ma'am. Search for what? All you have to do is pull it up. My phone isn't on. Just go. Just go to my It's just connected room. to the just internet. Go to my room. That's fine. I need to have a cigarette. If How you want to search my room, you can't. I'm not searching your room, ma'am. All I need you to do is grab your phone and show me your confirmation number. It's not on. My phone is on. So let's go. So, ma'am, how did you book the reservation? You just said you booked it through I your phone. It. Yeah, I did it last okay, night. Okay, yeah. so all you have to do is show me the confirmation email that was sent to you. That's okay. it. If it's on there, that's fine. It's going, it should be in your email, ma'am. Okay. How the fuck do does this person work here? Yes, yes she does. does. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm going outside real quick. You can go to my room and go search your Male Karen threatens the store employee that he's going to take her and the entire store to court. Okay, Karen. You cannot deny access to a service dog. Like manager it don't freaking matter. You're going to need to apologize to me. Oh, you're going to because I will be bringing you to court and the store to court. You think it's a joke. You cannot deny me access to the freaking store. This is a full pledged service dog. Like, that's pretty bad. That's pretty freaking bad. I'm not a manager. Of course, you're not a manager. You're just the type of ignorant that's gonna deny people access. Crazy Karen attacks a group of teens with her trolley and won't stop harassing them. Get a life, Karen. This is a Karen. <laughs> Karen! You're filming me as well. We're going to Target as well. Oh my god. Mama's right there. We're going to Target as well. You're a troublemaker. <laughs> Still following us. Really? Go that way or that way. Why are you following? Like, go your own way. Go. Is this this Karen's way? following us, so Why yeah. Still <laughs> Karen, good night. This is fun. It is. Karen Worker comes to continue their argument on this man's property and won't get off his drive, so the man can leave in his car. All of this over the guy calling the worker's wife a Karen. They're a happy Karen couple, I guess.
You want to, oh, I'm recording you too. I've been recording you. Okay, you want to call names and scream and act like a nothing that. No, let me do that. Oh, you're you over here using line? foul language about you need to leave now. Oh my god, foul get out language. of my driveway. Okay, Karen, get out of my Karen. driveway. Okay. Get I live on the next street. out of my driveway. If you want to talk tough and act like you're get out of my something. driveway, come out to the street. Get you're out of my driveway. Your driveway. Get out of my driveway. Okay. What's your name? Don't worry about it. Okay, Tuffy. Okay, Tuffy yourself. I've had you on video this whole time. Hey, the cops are coming to your. Cops right. are coming to your house. Cops are coming to your house, buddy. Okay. Tell them to come to my house because I used to you don't pass for you. You don't pass Man. on this street. I live in this neighborhood. You I'm don't pass on the road. Me. Your wife almost hit my daughter because she was trying to back in the driveway. Yeah, she, she was too close. The before even looking she, she, was she, too, was. she was too close. No. She didn't have a car lane. She when tried to pass. You were here. here. You make sure traffic's clear hey. before you stop and back and block traffic. Were you, were you here? Fuck. Were you here? Were you here? League City PD is coming over to visit Okay, you. call them. You're going to be trespassed. Okay. And you're not going to be able to come call to my them. property trespassed again. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're going to have that on I'm your so name. I'm so sorry. It's so funny how you're so tough in front of an eight-month-old pregnant woman. Donald? Yeah. What? Is that your name? It says David. David. Okay. All right. You want to yell at my wife again? Come nobody yell at me. Nobody yelled at nobody. You think she's lying? Come on, crying for no reason? Nobody yelled at nobody, bud. Okay. I got I little know where girls. You live. I you got figure out why I live, buddy. I ain't scared of you. Oh, then that's why you won't come out in the street, huh? I don't need to. Because you're in, oh, because why? You're you're, you're not on my property. My property, bro. The kind of man who will yell at a woman. He yelled at nobody. You want to got you cameras. Drive. Nobody yelled at anybody. Okay. I said, ma'am, okay. you don't pass. Okay. You don't pass. And okay. then she started yelling at me. Okay. And I said, bye, Karen. Okay. I'm sorry you have problems. Oh, Hope sorry. wish you, you happiness. Apparently. I'm sorry your daughter not to drive either. What's sorry, your name? You wanted, I get it. She's your family. You want to defend her? I didn't defend anybody. Okay. Okay. That's you don't story. know because you weren't story. here. That's cool. You weren't here. Okay. You don't know. I was right around the corner. Go you home talk to your tough? wife. Somebody come talk tough to me. Go home to your you wife. You want to talk tough here? That's fine. Come to my house and talk tough. Go home to your wife. I don't wife. know who I'm messing with, right? Go I don't home. know who I'm messing with. Go home to your wife. Have a good day, sir. Karen tried to cut in front of this woman's client while at the Target, but this woman is not here for this kind of entitlement and puts this Karen back in her place. This so Karen tried to cut my client in me. line at Target. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I want and the back police up. right here now. And back up. And this is all on video. Exactly, because you thought you were going to get in front of me. Exactly. Who are you talking to? You. You're not talking to me. <laughs> I am trying to make a return here. Lady. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So why do you think you're so entitled? You thought you were going to come and stand in front of me? And then I correct you about what you did. You thought you were going to come and get in my face. We're not doing that today. Face. You did get in my face. I and know. I got it on video. Stop playing Whatever. with me. Stop playing with me. Okay. I was here first. I came the correct way, like Whatever. all customers should. Just get done. She jumped. I'm not talking to you. She jumped in front of me. And this young lady knows she came from this way. And then she said, well, I have a return. Ma'am, I'm already standing right here. Just get it over with. Right. Wait, you made a big deal about it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You did. Now stop playing with me. For real. I can take over here. Last morning, lady. That'd be really good. Last morning. Refund thirty-one dollars and fifty-nine cents. Okay. Do you, you need my card? card? Do you want it back on your debit card? You can give it to me in cash. Cash? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're done. Mm -hmm. Can you reset that one? The one. Yeah, I put the two. You got the right one today. Like, are you kidding me? Racist Karen continues her insults even when called out directly and know she's being filmed. The most blatant kind of racism is often the most disgusting. You should be sorry for yeah. that. You're in Canada. Hey, Speak Bab. English. Take a picture. Bab, look at this. Take five of them. I'll pay you 50 bucks for the picture. Where's your FaceTime? Look at, no, look at this. Learn English. Look at this. Look at this. Learn English. Learn English, por favor. I know how to speak English. That's speaking. Yes, what do you want to say? I want to say, what? please speak English, you gorgeous. I girl. know how to speak English. Then, no, it's fine, English. baby. Yeah. We're good. We're here. You know this? Huh? 
We're just walking around here and she just came in. So I'm in a mood. Yeah. Why not minding you? Please call the cops. Girl, please, we're just minding our please, business. Please, please call the cops. No, I'll give you 50 bucks to call the cops right now. You don't belong you in our country. You don't that. Take some FaceTime. No, 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 no. Take some FaceTime. She's a gorgeous girl and this is your fault. No, no it's not. That's okay. Are you okay. kidding me right now? Stay away from us, okay? You just hurt your own child. Stay away from us. What is wrong with you? Can you speak English? Stay away from us. Stay away from us. Stay away from us. Never in my life I experienced that, bro. Then, never in my life I've ever like think of myself experiencing that. I'm kind of cute. Crazy Karen is riled up and yells uncontrollably at this poor girl who is completely overwhelmed with her racism and aggression, especially since it's only 10 a.m. All of a sudden you can talk, take my picture. Who paid for that? You can't afford that, but you can afford that. You don't have to go through those kind of questions. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> I don't understand your aggression. No, it's not aggression. It's a question. That's aggressive. You want me to call the police on you? Why? All I did is ask you if you paid for it. I heard it's free. No, yes, I did. I don't understand. Oh, so you now, finally, you say you paid for it. And I, you, you clarified something. I did two minutes ago. Oh, you're very articulate. You did understand English. <laughs> Do you understand other languages? Oh, what? You don't want to have a congenial conversation? What is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. You make funny faces though, like something might be wrong with you. I don't get... Why are people so You're mean? You're free to cry here. Yeah. Oh, so you her. pay for it, but they pick on me. Her. I pay for mine. I pay for mine too, and they pick her. on me. Yeah, they blame me. Why don't they pick on you? Oh, you're going to cry about having to pay? You can. You can cry in public about paying. I... In your own name. And everything? Of course I do. I did. pay too. Why are you being like this? I get sick of paying for others that don't pay and they double on us. Get us. Scream and yell. This is a public place. Yeah. Well, it's the same sort of intrusion, isn't it? You don't have to. You're just dying for a confrontation. Oh, you love your starring role, don't you? You want to make us the villain. Oh, you make us pay. You don't want people that pay. You want you want it for free. There's no record of paying for their bastards. Car Karen thinks her insults prove that she is right. Think again, Karen. You don't know how to drive. You're ugly. Oh god, ooh. This is going right to the leasing office. This is going right to the leasing office. The racist Karens are out in the troves today. And this clip features a racist Karen couple. You gotta love racism in union. Karens can't read my company labeled shirt and hat. I'm on I'm on a public street. You guys cannot say the N-word, man. That's kinda rude. You still can't say those rude words. Just cause that just because you have a son of of color. In violation, you are still on my property line, sir. My property line is over here. Do you see what where the grass meets? For? What is your name? I'm on, I'm on a public street. What company you, you do you can't, work you for? Can't, you can't make me do anything. I can ask you what company you work for. I don't want to tell you anything. Yeah, because you know I'm going to call your boss exactly. and complain what about boss? it. What boss? What boss? Tell me who you work for. <laughs> no. What? This guy is fed up seeing this worker harass innocent shoppers and calls him out directly resulting in the woman he was currently harassing profusely thanking him for helping her, showing how distressing his behavior was. Dumb Karen. Was that lady harassing you? Yes. Thank you. Why, why are you always harassing people? Thank you. That's not your job. Thank you. That's not your job. You know that, right? Thank What's your name? Huh? What's your name? What's your name? Donna. Donna? Thank how long you have you been so working much. here? Huh? How long have you been working here? Two years. So why... <laughs> Exactly. It's not, it's not your job, though. I 
have it's to not your job. I don't okay, have to well, show why you we got self checkouts then? Exactly. I got to hire more cashiers. Yes. That's the <laughs> We're not about to wait all day for y'all. Exactly. So it's not your job also to follow a person. Too, you know not. that, right? It's not. it's not your job to follow a person. It's not. It's you know not that, right? Your job is reported. No, I read all about it, and yes, I can follow her. Okay, Donna. No, all right. Follow, all right. I got 15,000 followers on TikTok, Donna. Everyone about to see this bull. Thank you. Of course. Karen didn't want to sell this couple wine, and so the manager was called to try and resolve this issue. Will the Karen cave? Sell this couple wine so my wife and the manager got her together. You know, it's up, it's up to the cashier to if you think we've been drinking, we're not supposed to sell it to you because it's against the federal well, law. Smell it all. Well, I can't smell because, um, because ain't nobody that bar is not close enough to you, but... That name fits up. Look at her name. All right, look. Okay, it's $20.94. Okay. 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 I don't know what's going on, but um, it's been a long day. Well, I don't do nothing. But go to don't take it out on the customer. That, that, we all have a long day working for you. Take it out on the customer. We all have a long day. Your problems are not our problems. And you choose the clock in to work today. Thanks. You get paid to you get paid to bring your problems to work to take it on other people. You see what I'm saying? That's bullshit. I've never heard that in my life. No, what? I feel a little bit what? About having a bad day or a long day. We've got a long day, but I mean... She didn't want to tell them liquor because she said that they've been drinking already. I've been working for the last four weeks at Cypress Lane. And you had a bad day? That's crazy. Well, I was just saying... That was rude. Oh, yeah. Really? She was rude. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to make that assumption now. Because um, it was the way they were acting. It was the way they were acting. But it was, it was, that's what all cash was supposed to do. It's because it's federal law. It has nothing to do with it. What's federal law? I feel or not. But if you didn't detect alcohol from them, like how are they supposed to act? Is there a certain etiquette for Walmart? Well, Let's just do this. Let's just do that. What are we doing here? Part two. Part two. Karen refused to sell a cup of wine, and my wife and her supervisor got her together. Like that was rude. Now I'm thinking of Walmart too, when it's a term who's drunk and who isn't. If you haven't done a breathalyzer, took any hair or blood samples. Yeah, I don't know if that's what you're talking about. So And you're not three, you're not authorized to do any of those things. Poor customer service. Told them that I thought they were the hits. The way they were acting, they were acting like they had been drinking a little bit too much. They were having a conversation amongst themselves. Okay. And I, you know, because they wanted me to check them out. And originally I wanted them to really start acting that way. I thought they, was, they had been drinking a little too much. And you know that during the, in the CBL, because we have our liquor license, we had, if they think somebody was drinking too much, we By have. By the way, they said you smell alcohol. Okay. Then my apologies. I did not. So I was told that if they were acting a certain way as well, that's my apologies. What is the certain way to act in Walmart? That's that's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, that's how I came out there with found this Yeah, we'll take a break. I do apologize. I mean, I don't mean anything biased. I don't. I was just trying to pay my liquor license. We have every cashier here has liquor license. Okay, so the question is, how are you to act in Walmart in order to buy liquor? Well, you're not wrong. I mean, you know. How are they acting? Give me one, one second. I do apologize. Look, I mean, you know, I sold it to them. 
You know, and I and I do apologize. I do. Um, you know, I get a lot of I get a lot of trouble because of my name. And I'm like sorry and you for that. Up, you live up to it. No, I don't. That was definitely no, no, a camera. No, 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 no
You back, uh-uh. You hit me and move. You hit me. Mm-mm. No. They took a hundred dollars from us. Go ahead and leave, lady. And walk for his mind. You went to the house. Go. 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 I got the bag. Thank you. Karen makes a nuisance of herself at the drive-thru, and the worker just seems exhausted and not here for her nonsense, as you'll see. Um, since I cannot have the iced coffee that I wanted, is there any way you can compensate me with a free coffee? You had the sausage muffin and the sausage biscuit? Yes. Okay. What type of coffee you want? Any type. Like French vanilla. Any type. You want small? Yes, just make sure it's flavored. If you could, can you do a medium? Yeah. Thank you. Anything else? No. Okay, shut up. Tell Jasmine to shut, shut up, Chris. But she get treated. We don't have no ice coffee. We don't have any ice coffee. Any coffee will be... We only have hot coffee. Any coffee will be okay. Yeah. You want the cream sugar? Sure. How many? Any. There's four or four. Oh, I thought it was going to be free since you did not have the iced coffee. No, but is you recording or something? Could you get your manager, please? Why are you recording? Could you get your manager, please? Snarky Karen yells at a group of teens who couldn't care less and are just finding the whole ordeal hilarious. And some of you girls have already had in your mouth! No! <laughs> oh. Hey, don't you know that causes chlamydia of the throat? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Chlamydia <laughs> of the throat, <laughs> <laughs> if you love your fear more than God, you're going to hell. If you love that devil's lettuce. <laughs> Sounds like you love devil's lettuce. Incredibly rude Karen barges her way to the checkout, righteously thinking she doesn't have to wait in line like the rest of us. And ran into a Who are you guys, ma'am? You said oh, you should wow. be home. <laughs> You still ain't getting me. Uh uh, lady. Oh! 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 Uh uh. Oh! Uh uh. Oh! 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 Oh!
Now you better right up just walking out with your stuff. Karens are often at their worst when they're hungry, and this Karen demonstrates that perfectly. That's wrong. Oh my god. Crazy Karen won't get off the front of this guy's car, causing unnecessary chaos for absolutely no reason. Get off of my car! You honked at oh, me! Oh great, now I'm gonna miss the light too, too thanks! bad! A group of Karens bully this guy just trying to do a good deed of picking up the trash, while they stand there and continuously remove items from the trash can and throw them back on the floor for him to pick it up again. Ugh, this is just gross. <laughs> Karen calls the cops and these people welcoming in their new year with fireworks. Pathetic! We were popping fireworks, and we had a Karen call the cops. Come on, lady, it's 2023, and we're in the outskirts. She called the cops. Angry Karen rudely argues with a fast food restaurant employee and won't concede that she is in the wrong. This was after Karen told him finding their own business to go back. No, I deal with McDonald's. I deal with owners. I don't deal with people that gang up on me. You're not from the same place I'm from, and neither are they. Therefore, when I know John Glenn, I tell John Glenn. I told John Glenn. You know what to do that. You can do the comments. They're already at it. You're all actors. And you know what? I'm going to own this McDonald's because I know the owners. Not only a personal franchise, I know the Rolling Stones in here too. No, don't bother. No, thank you. No, thank you. Come on. Get out of here. Follow me. Follow me. No, I don't follow. I'm not a follower. I'm a leader. An American leader, and I'm telling you. Yeah, I'll follow you. I'll follow you. Describe my clothes and everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you do. This is the USA, and you're going to learn to understand that women over there that We are in succumbing to men that are gay or any of it. Go ahead. Thank you. And join your with the Rolling Stones. Yes. Get on stage when you want to be heard because I don't listen to you no, or anybody. I'm that. a boss and you'll take my orders and they do. Call the president. You know the president? Call him up. Have a good day, Thank you. Thank you. And remember, I'm never opening, I'm never closing my mouth. Thank any you. of you, anywhere, Thank even in your country. Sounds good, man. I'm an American citizen, and when I want to kick you out, I kick you out. Yes, yes. I can't do it right now. Bye. Thank Did you. Can you hear me, Carson? Yes, honey. Please. 
I don't need it. You need it. You need a light. You spread my clothes. You spread my clothes there, Keon. Don't come back. Talk to Lady Claire Jesus. This is a free world. Enraged, Karen argues over her rental agreements despite not knowing what was in the initial contract. But the guy she's arguing with sure does. Apartment building, you pay to run laundry. Mm -hmm. These That's what fine. we do. We pay to run laundry. We no, pay for don't. electric. We pay for no, internet. We don't. No, you don't. We don't. Then no. what the hell do we pay eight hundred dollars a month for? You pay for a space. Do you know what it costs to rent anywhere else? Doesn't matter. That's what was in the verbal agree agreement. My laundry machine. Okay. No. Well, then do something about it. I will. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You hear this? He says that uh, laundry's in with the rent agreement. But there are personal machines that we allow them to use. They're not part of the building here. Well, guess what? Do something about it. Okay. I did. I gave you an eviction notice. Where? Well, it was sent. Handwritten. Where's your handwritten? Si I will. I will Where's file it, it then, so it goes against your record. Handwritten. Yep. I'm A text go. message does not. Yes, it does. Does not. I just looked the laws up last That's night. That's fine. I will go and file it with the court. That's so fine. That now That's you'll fine. have it on your record. That's we fine. Were trying Where's our next. mail? Where's I don't our... have your mail. You don't have our mail. No, I do not. I literally have your mail. left a piece of mail in the mailbox to see if you kept taking our stuff. I haven't touched any mail. You haven't. You haven't. So you didn't get an electric bill yes uh Christmas Eve, right? I did not check the mail on Christmas Eve. I did Lance, not leave the house. Lance, where's our mail at, Lance? Uh, I've already filed because there is no I've already filed a complaint with the post office this morning That's and right. I will be calling the cops this afternoon to file a complaint with them if we I do didn't not get our mail. An electric bill. There I was, didn't touch any, there was I have an, not checked the mailbox in 3 days. There was an electric bill in the mailbox in y'all's name. I purposely left that along with her along with her package in the mailbox. So where's it at? I never touched your mail. I haven't checked well, look, the mail. Well, this is me right now demanding that you leave our mail in the mailbox until we leave. I don't touch your mail. I'm just demanding that I that happen. I don't happens. touch your mail. Nobody took your mail. Where is our mail at, Lance? Possessed Karen seems to have the embodiment of the devil itself and won't let herself be shot in the back of the police van. Okay. Put your feet in. Ma'am, put your feet in so we can close the doors. Okay. I'm just gonna close the door. You stay right there before we move. Hey, 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 calm down. hey calm down. Calm down. Jim Bro Karen prophetically argues over who has the biggest leg muscles and better ab definition. Like, who cares? So I had this male Karen pull up on me at the gym, and this is how it went. Come on. Man, come on, come on. Y'all chill out, man, please. You looking cute, my boy. Let's see what your legs look like. Looking cute, my boy. Yeah, y'all come on, man. Y'all chill, chill. looking real cute. Come on, chill, 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 chill. It's all right, hang on here. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah, that's good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on, man. I'll see you. Chill out. Come on, man. Come on. You gotta come over here to admire my workout, bro. I mean, yeah, good. To admire me, I guess. If you're not, if you're not stressing oh. over me, bro. Oh, let's put the shirt up. Put bro. the shirt up. Ah! Car Karen noisily inspects what her neighbors are doing while driving and won't go inside when asked what she's doing, but instead starts dancing. Call the police. Send her to jail. I'm trying to figure out why. Mom, can you just go? No, I have every right to be on the street. I'm scared. Oh, you don't have to be scared. No. She's not gonna no, she's not gonna do anything. Good thing I locked oh. my door. She yeah, locked your doors. That makes you feel better. 
Carrie locked your door. I already locked it. It's fine. I said Carrie. I already locked it all. She's not getting in this truck. Honey, what is standing there doing for you? But there's nothing is doing any better for you, hon. Call the police if you. If you're really that worried about it, then call the police, hon. If you're really that worried about it, then call the police. Then go ahead and call him if you're that worried about it. You're wasting your time right now. You're wasting your time right now by standing here worrying about what we're doing. Oh, no, if your neighbor was that I'm worried wrong. about it, they would be if, you're, here. if your neighbor was that worried about it, you look goofy right now, honey. I would be embarrassed if you were my mother. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out why. Record. What the hell is she doing? Wait, I want to see the fuck. I'm on buckle. Don't unbuckle. Stay buckle because we're going to leave. I just need to see why it's giving this ad. Kid, okay. what the hell? She's just embarrassing herself. Yeah, it's okay. Imagine being her neighbor. Ugh, I think door is locked it. right now. She's I'm not unlocking that mom. thing door. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't come on my what side. The heck? What the hell? Wow, are you recording that? I am. I, w I would feel embarrassed. You know what? You too. Kalia? Uh-uh, it's not that No. Funny. I don't care. I don't care. She's being a Karen. Yeah, she's Okay, a according to here, it says we're 15 minutes away. Are you a Karen or not? She's embarrassing herself. I should turn around just to go back. Oh, we're coming back, honey. I can't! Who am I bothering? Who am I bothering? You're bothering me? You? You're bothering my neighbor whose driveway you were in? There's no one in there, your neighborhood. There's nobody over there. Go. Goodbye. Good. I'm minding my business. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. She, she wasn't bothering you at all. <laughs> oh, shut up. Make me. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, take a picture of it. It might last longer. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Okay, that's fine. That's really weird of you to do that, by the way. Really weird of you. No, it's not weird. It is weird. You are weird. You're, being, you're being a creep right I'm now. I'm on a public street. You're being a creep. Get out of Don't the touch street. me. Don't, no. Do not touch me. I'm scared. Ooh. You should, there's no a, need to be scared. You have a good rest of your day, hon. Get the hell out of here. She's a kid. Clearly. Can you record, please? Rude Karen won't help out these people because she thinks they're thieves. Based on absolutely nothing but prejudice. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Can we ask you a quick question for a video project we work on? Sure, what is it? Is it about you? Could you hold this for a second? She's gonna ask you. No, I can't. Because um I'm afraid Sorry. you'll steal my purse. Oh. We will steal your purse. Okay. Thank well, you so much. Do. Neighbor Karen have gotten crafty with it and have been stealing their neighbor's electricity. My electric. Got a plug. Going all the way to his house. That's a dual house. Karen thieves failed in their attempt to steal a shopping cart, with brave workers fighting to get it back. Thieves tried stealing a full shopping cart. Great job to these workers for getting it back. Arrogant male Karen demands the workers make him fresh donuts there and then because he said he called them in advance, so they should have them ready by now. Hmm. The entitlement is unreal. If they're not at the front of your store. Yes, sir. It's 
it does take a few minutes before we make them. No, That's I, why we're saying no, I understand that, but there's no one behind us. If there's somebody behind us, we would pull up. There's no one behind us, and I already spoke to your DM, and he already said we don't have to pull up. They come in. You could call your district manager. He already knows that we we don't have to pull up. It's your policy. Well, when you place a mobile order, we have to have time to make it. Right, and okay. y'all can go ahead and make it. There's no one behind us. Okay, so what we do because we have this timer. I understand that. So I know. We'll I know. I no. I know how y'all's policies work. We will pull you. Call to your the boss. Park. Call your district manager. I'm not calling anybody. Call your district manager. You call. Them. You call. Them. Pull to the front no, ma'am. Call the police. It's up to you. Call the police on what? I will because you won't move out. You, my you, you're gonna lose your job. I hope you know that. Okay, well, go ahead. You re you really want to lose your job? Hey, do what you gotta do. If you think you can control me having a job, then you go ahead. <laughs> okay. A recurring pet peeve of Karen's is featured in this clip: the dreaded skateboard. You hey, what are you doing? A skateboard on this sidewalk. Are you kidding it me? It's illegal, a, you it's know a that? skateboard. Okay, and you can't are just. You are you filming yes, me I right am. now? Put I me am. on Facebook. Go ahead. Angry car Karen screeches at the top of her voice from her car so loudly that her kooky rant can be heard from the other side of the road. Karen accuses this man of stealing her phone, and despite her unfounded accusations, he does a great job of staying calm while dealing with her yelling at him. You've got no evidence that I did anything wrong here, and that I stole your phone, period. I'm letting you know you're in the same spot where I left my phone. Me sitting in the same spot has nothing to do with me taking your phone. And really upset for no Why wouldn't I get upset? Yeah, but here you are upset. claiming that I stole your phone. You're I have right, nothing I'm to do with that. You're the only I have to be patient. Later. I've tried my best to keep my cool, but I'm not doing this anymore. Over what? I've done nothing wrong here. I lost You've got my no evidence. Thumb, and that's your problem. Okay, and I'm asking has nothing to do you with me. if you took it, bro. Did I just say no or not? You're arguing with Period. me Period. Right so, so leave I'm me alone. Period. I've got nothing to prove to you. I, I Man, is this lady related to you? Because she knows I'm right. My phone. Somebody needs to come get her. I'm tired of this. Come get you and take you back where I've been patient. From, I've been bro. sitting here quietly. I've tried not to engage you. Okay, then but you stop continue to berate me. To me bro. And you continue to claim that I stole your phone when I had nothing to do with that. This has to be one of the most bizarre claims Karen has ever made. Their neighbor copying their drive? What is the neighbor doing on my drive? Excuse me? And what, and what are you doing? Your drive. Why are you one second? Let me open the window more. Why are you photographing my drive? Because it's absolutely identical to our drive that we had put down before you did. So you've just copied ours. Same. Yeah. Okay, but Same. like you're 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 you're, you're physical on my property right now. One, Same. two. Yeah, we had the same exact builders, but like, what is like, but like, what's like the problem? Like, well, like it just looks aesthetically good at the same time. Yeah, but we chose to have this done. We get a new car. You get a new car. We decide to renovate the outside. You renovate the outside. Similarly, you've had we've done inside. I've noticed you've had your inside done. Everything okay, so what? Have you been looking for our windows? Them. Have you been looking yeah. for our windows? I can see people. You don't have to look through. I can just see. You can just walk past and see. Yeah. What's okay, going but on. like, never mind. If I have got the same drive as yours, though, like we had the same builders. It's the neighbour who lives all the way down there. The, they're the people who built yours, and they did ours as well. Yeah, but I mean, and why are you taking pictures there? Why are you why are you taking pictures off our house for? You can't do that. That's just rude well, and yeah, intrusive. Just, I wanted to just prove that you've copied our drive. But like, but like, you can see. Well, it's not. It's not like I've copied it. 
and it's not like you're the one who designed it, is it? You didn't design it. The builders did it. We we had the same builders because because they live in our road. And when you got yours done, yeah, we got ours done at the same time because because then it was cheaper. Well, it's just that there's no individualism anymore. I mean, but we live next to each other, though. We 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 live next to each other, though. I know, but it matches. It matches. Look. Maybe it does, but every time we do anything, you seem to copy it. No, but, and I'm but, yeah, but, with it. Yeah, but we don't copy it though, it just coincidentally happens. Well, big coincidence, isn't it? But how is that big coincidence, and like, why is it such a problem? I just would like to be a bit more individual, and I felt when we had the drive done, it was before yours was done. Okay, so, 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 so what is the purpose of you taking pictures then? Well, just to show that it's all the same. Okay, so what are you going to do with them pictures? I'm not sure yet, but I just wanted to prove that it's all the same and that, you know... But okay, so then, right. so, 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 all because we've got the same drive, does that, does that, does that then give you right to then come into my property and start, and start taking pictures inside and outside the house? You said that you're looking inside the house and said, oh no, what? Well, you, I didn't you... take any pictures, I just saw them working there and thought it was the same. I, 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 I caught you on camera taking pictures. Not if you're inside, no. Okay, but like, still like, you've been looking inside the inside of the house, aren't you? I'm sorry? I said you still have been looking inside the house, haven't you? You've been snooping around. You walk up and down, the window's open, the builder's in there. Of course you can see things. Thank you. So, 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 it's not, it's not like I'm copying you. We we just got our house from the same exact time. Well, I just feel very upset that it's identical to mine. Anyway, I'll leave it at that for the moment. This clip can be said to be a short but powerful mini tutorial on how to get a Karen to go away. Car out of my parking spot. What is your problem? Go away. Go away. What's wrong with you. Crazy Karen comes at the dead of night outside her neighbor's house to yell accusations, and it's all caught in CCTV. Dog Karen argues with a fellow dog walker about his ability to take care of his dogs while not being able to control her own dogs. <clears throat> it's a dog park they're playing. No, they're not playing. Okay, then maybe you shouldn't have a dog then. Really? You know what? I'm 70 years old. I've had more dogs than you've had years in your life. Okay. Okay, bye. Have a great day. Thanks for leaving the gate open. It's real mature of you. Oh, you can't even keep control of your dog. This Karen couple thinks that because they have a son who is black, they can use racial slurs. Karen logic at work again. Karen's can't read my company labeled shirt and hat. I'm on I'm on a public street. You guys cannot say the N-word, man. That's kind of rude. You still can't say those rude words. Just because that just because you have a son of, of color. In violation, you are still on my property line, sir. My property line is over here. Do you see what where the grass you meets? For? What is your name? I'm on, I'm on a public street. What company you, you do you can't, work you for? Can't, you can't make me do anything. I can ask you what company you work for. I don't want to tell you anything. Yeah, because you know I'm going to call your boss exactly. and complain what about What boss? It. What boss? Tell me who you work for. <laughs> no. Entitled male Karen throws a tantrum for not being allowed to enter the store and results to using profanities against the workers just trying to do their job. You cannot deny access to a service dog. Okay, so the manager it don't freaking matter. You're gonna need to apologize to me. I'm not oh, you're going to because I will be bringing you to court and the store to court. You think it's a joke? 
cannot deny me access to the freaking store. This is a full pledged service dog. Like that's pretty bad. That's pretty freaking bad. I'm not a manager. Of course you're not a manager. You're just the type of ignorant prick that's gonna deny people access. Another dog Karen, and this one is running away not only from this woman asking her questions, but from responsibility itself. It is your dog. I saw you walking him. No. no yes, I did. You. Can you? Are, you are lying. But you said that you were gonna clean it up. No. You looked at me and you said I'm no. gonna clean it up. No, it's not true. You are lying. So why were you running away? I'm doing exercise. Away from me? No. But that's not how you do exercise. You're wearing flip flops. Miss, what is a big deal to clean up after your dog? Even when I explained to you that children play their sport, you said yes, you understand, and you will clean it up. And now you're running away. Why is it so hard to clean up your dog? You had a plastic bag in your hand. Instead of doing the right thing, going back there. Karen stalks these group of teens in the mall while filming them. Well, luckily, they just seem to find it all amusing. This is a Karen. <laughs> You're filming me as well. We're going to Target as well. me into Target. Oh, my mom's right there. said that I wear, I was going there, now heading We're going to Target as well. Troublemakers. You're a troublemaker. Still following us. Go that way or that way. Go this this Karen's a... following us, so yeah. <laughs> Karen, good night. This is fun. It is. Train Karen goes absolutely berserk, and the worker argues back with her, seemingly to no avail. Be that person! Crazy Karen thinks she can push this incredibly heavy and dangerous machine, and her neighbor comes to try and help. Then she thought she could push a 800 pound pound machine. For your safety. For your safety. No, for your safety. Please, Nick. No. Just, just give us a moment. Get out of here. You already called the cops. We don't want them to come again. Please stop. Please stop. Stop. Please stop. Nosy Karen takes pictures of these people and their car, trying to scare them by photographing everything, despite them having done nothing wrong. She's trying to take a picture of my license plate. <laughs> what did we do? Can I help you? It says AJW6040. Thank you. Yeah. Make sure you get it all on film. Okay, I am. Okay, thank you. Can I ask why you need my plate? You'll probably find out later on tonight or maybe tomorrow. You think so? I think so. Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Let me make sure we get your face right. Yeah, let me get your face too. Get the phone out of the way. Mm, no thanks. Huh? Oh, are you embarrassed for what you did? What did I do? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, but there she is. I didn't do sh There she is. <laughs> you got a beard or what? No. Is that a beard? No. It's it a little is bit shaved. of one though. You got some hairs going on your ears too. Might want to get that fucking checked out. <laughs> the other guy's hiding. <laughs> Must be ashamed. The Done. only boy. Oh yeah, what kind is it? Oh, what in hell, mama's car. Rude Karen yells at poor service workers and gets what's coming to her. And onlooking customers are loving it. Now, 
I honestly, we, we, nobody wants to wait on you. We're asking you nicely. We'll be very nice. Please, please. That's it. You got a cup of coffee out of us. What more do you want? That's it. I'm not, you're not going to call me a my boss's wife. You're not going to call people a lesbian and you sure as hell ain't going to look at underage girls. I don't want to look at underage yes, girls. No. Let's go. Hey, 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 come on. You're a pedophile and a freak and you <laughs> deserve to be locked up in Bellevue. Hey. That's all I got to say. And I'm asking you nicely. Male Karen throws a hissy fit as well as everything he can get his hands on onto the floor while at his local fast food restaurant. Well, we no, 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 Kooky Christian Karen tell these people they're going to hell, much to their absolute enjoyment. Think you're going to hell for judging? For judging other people? Are you judging my judgment? You hypocrite? Yeah, I'm judging your judgment. Oh, that's a hypocrite. Oh, really? You're going to cuss with that mouth, huh? Yeah. You probably go to church. Yeah. No, I don't go to church. Yeah, you. So that's why I cuss. Oh, yeah, that's why I cuss. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Well, that's why I cuss. Yeah. Wait, I want to show what I'm wearing. Let's see. I'm such a sinner. <laughs> I'm too exposed. Entitled Karen can't believe she's being told to get off this lady's property for refusing to wear a mask during the height of COVID. <laughs> and that's just gross. Get off my property. Lady, I'll back up. Not real. You're so. I can't even deal with you people. You're so ridiculous. All right. On the police. So you. Get off my property. I won't. And you walk by my Okay. I will not be silenced by I'm not property. silencing you. Get off my property. Why do you attack us? I'm not I'm attacking you. You came over there and attacked you them. Don't, you don't need my prayers. I don't need this. I don't need that. Get off my property. It isn't real. Do you know who, how many people died from nursing homes? Half of the population that died were in not healthy human beings. Oh, so they're our just governor, expendable? Our governor, which I'm sure you see. All lives matter, lady, but we can get rid of grandma. Arrogant male Karen thinks that he has powers beyond on which his police badge confers him. And he is accused of racially profiling this guy just minding his own business. For what? What did I do? You have any ID on you? No, I don't have to give you No, ID, you do sir. have to. For what, sir? What did I do, sir? You do. What did I do, sir? Yeah, send me another sir. unit. Please bring your superior here, sir. I am superior. No, you're you're. I you're am not. superior officer. My badge number is four. You understand that? Yes, sir. Okay, so you have ID. I don't have to give you ID. No, sir. you do I'm have to. You Why do you have here? to show your ID. Why are you here? No, I don't. Yes, I do. I what had a crime call that on I you. commit. Get what crime you did know what? I commit? Get up. What and crime? Go outside. I'm, the, I'm get up asking you. And go outside. I'm asking you what crime? Get up and go outside, sir. I'm asking you what. I got called here for you, and I'm asking your identification, sir. What get up did and you go do? outside. What was the call? Get up and go outside, sir. That's not fair. That's not right. No, it is fair. That's not right, sir. It's very fair. That's not right. That's and all it's all very recorded. right. There you go. Racial profiling, man. Oh, oh yeah, profiling. it's racial profiling. Straight in. Here. 5104 County. Look at him. Oh, and 22431272. 22. Or, I'm sorry. 32431272. Run that, please. Because this guy's uh, saying that I'm racial profiling him. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Cause I just don't like black people. Definitely. Yeah, I don't like black people. It's like that out here, man. Oh it's yeah, sad. it's like that out here. It's sad. Everybody knows me knows that I don't care whether you're white, brown, 
or ten. Drunk, sir? Why are you looking like that, bro? Because I'm tired of your attitude. I don't have an attitude. You I do have an attitude. attitude. Yes, sir. Karen self-righteously paces around the lobby of her apartment building and acts as if she's the manager, arguing with everyone she encounters. Well, people get sick because you're walking around with them. I don't know who wrote your contract, but they're going to hear about it today. Did you just say what I think you said to me? Did you just say what I think you said to me? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Don't get on that elbow with him. Don't get on that next to him. Angry Karen yells at her local dominoes, makes threats if not delivered to her car within the next two minutes. Damn, she must be hungry. That the pizza says ready on my pizza tracker. So if it doesn't come out to my car in two minutes, I get a free pizza. And we're asking you to please call corporate because we are extremely busy and we you have no control over that. You guys stopped the timer saying that you brought it to me already when you no, didn't. We have to hit the timer Male Karen at the gas station causes chaos and a heated argument breaks out, holding everyone in the lineup. Screeching Karen on the street gets a jump scare by a passerby playing them at their own game. Karen gets aggressive towards the restaurant staff and demands they respect her. Lady, this behavior is not the way to gain respect. You don't have to be nasty about it and how long I'm talking about this and that. I did, I did, I did. Hold on. If I don't, I'm the manager. If I don't, I'm the manager. That's why I'm asking you. So I know clearly. Okay, I'm relaxed. So you know clearly. Okay, I'm relaxed. So you relax. You relax. I only told you. You relax. Okay, I'm relaxed. You relax. You relax. It ain't funny either. Sorry. No. Sorry. 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 I hope you have. Right is right and wrong is wrong. Don't get nasty with me. I am first of all, I'm not a child of 47 years old. Respect me. Respect me. Good. So I ain't too far from your mother's baby. That didn't go well. It's easy. I, I, you didn't, you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. What's wrong me? Rambling, drunken Karen has planted herself firmly in the middle of the road, making it impossible for any cars to drive down the road and causing ultimate havoc. I'm sitting here in my whipper, and there's a lady in the middle of the street. Yeah, let's do it. I really hate to. All right, we won't touch her. Uh, she's blocking the road. She's just literally in the street. Me and this guy was going to grab her arm and legs, but I guess not. She won't get up. Let's see if we can get a name. Why, why are you call the cops? Why are you in the street, baby? You want, you want to commit a felony against me? How would you call the cops? I wouldn't dare touch you. 
Why, why are Colin you in the Cox, street? Because this guy is going to commit a I mean, I would have contributed if we all went at it. You how, how would you go back? <laughs> hey, let's all honest. stick around. Let's all stick around. Dude, you got happening? something. You got something you need to be afraid of. What's wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want the cops coming here because so I this, want. this is what I'm doing. I want the cops. She's in the here. middle of the street, yeah, the cops and she won't get out the, the middle of the street. Call the cops. I'm trying to get call her out the, the street, but she let's won't see. go. Let's see. She's holding up traffic. This male Karen accuses these fast food workers of discriminating against him because of a medical condition they didn't even know he had. When in reality, it's because of the law preventing them from serving him inside. I, I have a medical condition. I can't. Okay, I can't I have work. To serve you outside. I understand that it's cold, but I can go get my boss if you want to talk to her. She's uh, the one who suggested this. I, I legally cannot serve you inside. You know, it's illegal to discriminate, right? If I have a medical condition. I'm not, no, I'm not denying you service. I'm relocating you to outside. Yeah. There's a, there's a sign out there where we serve people. I got my daughter with me, and it's cold outside. I'm not going to go outside. But I, I have to ask you leave. So you're so you're discriminating against me. No, I'm. I'll go back there. No problem. Arrogant Karen thinks they know the policies of the company more than the employees they're arguing with. Agreement, does it say we up in Costco? Okay, there is nothing in your membership agreement. As a matter of fact, I want a full, a full refund for our membership. Everybody else needs to stand up too. You do. If everybody canceled their memberships with Costco, they would stop this nonsense. Something. There you go. That's from the governor. Yeah, it's it's not our policy. The governor, governor is not a dictator. The she, governor is not a dictator. You're allowing her. Me? You're allowing her to be a dictator. No. Okay. Costco follows the rules. No. What it Costco is. doesn't follow their yes, own rules. Do. No, they don't. Go yes, to your we corporate do. website. Your C. Are you videoing this? Your CEO on your website has a letter posted saying medical conditions are exempt. You exactly. can't prevent. If you read that, it tells this you. This means nothing. This it is does. not a legal document. It says if you bring this in, a letter that says no, that is you have. personal medical information. No, I'm not, not required. Oh, not asking, oh, yes, it is. We're not asking what the issue is. All you have to show us is that the doctor gives you a letter that says that you can. We're not asking what the condition is. That's all we want to see is something from the doctor that says Miss So and So. Okay. Cannot agreement does it say I have to wear a mask in order to shop? It says well, you have to follow these policies and procedures. He can get that uh, for you. And okay, so your policy and procedures, according to your website, your CEO says medical conditions, people with medical conditions are exempt. Okay, you're violating your own policies and conditions. No, because this came out after. Uh, sorry, this came there. out after we bought our membership. Okay, so it does not apply. Like I said, you this have is nonsense. A name, you have a name, you have a number, you can feel free to call. Call whoever you want to. Enraged Karen threatens to call the embassy on this worker and snarkily thinks she's in the right. Company in the world, darling. This is my Norwegian passport, embassy on your motherfucker. Your name? Let me have. You Airport Karen gets hysterical and throws a tantrum of epic proportions. Karen goes wild in the woods over not being happy this guy's cutting down trees, demanding he show her documents, despite her not even owning the land. That's good, I'm working really hard to clear this yet. Awesome! I good. wanna see your plans. I wanna see your plans. I don't care, you can take me all you I'm want. Gonna. Good. 
show me your plans because otherwise I, I will call the call police them. as call well. Them. Call them. You do have to show call plans. Them. I don't have to show you. You do have to no, show me I plans. Of course you do. For of course what? you do. Because I'm mowing? Because you're not mowing. I'm not? You're clearing. Okay? You're dropping you see things. You cut any big trees? I do. I they do. Tell me mows this whole section and you can see everything. You're a real winner. You are. Get you are. On your own I will not. I want to have a conversation with you. I don't I want, want to, you to call the property I have, owner. I don't I, even live here. Okay. Well, then I will go find out who does live here because, as far as I'm concerned, you are. Until you I'm can what? prove that you are where you're supposed to be. I can by do way whatever of a I marker, want on his property. By the way of a marker. Because you are my property, I know I have rights. Okay, I'll be For how much there. you can clear, I'll I go. know I have rights. I'm going to clear all the way to the wall. I know I have rights. Yeah, okay? Well, and I want you to show me I don't where have to show you, you nothing. Are. Yes, you do. You have to mark this, pal. <laughs> pal, you have to mark You're this. a beauty. Are you from you the city? You are a beauty. Are you from the city? Are you from the city? No, I grew up here. Excellent. Good for you. Good for you. Yeah. I, want, I want you to show me where you have I don't have to show you nothing. Yes, you do. I know the wall is the property. Though. How? you got to show that. Oh, good. Pass. Awesome. <laughs> is this the police? How am I infringing upon anything? Because you're clearing everything. I don't have a need a permit for that. Who cleared all that? Yeah. To your stone Did wall. Did you hear me? I live here. You don't, there is no house He's here. He's going to live here. Okay? There's going to be a house here. A big one. Ooh, I'm so scared. Why are you trying to threaten me? Why are you trying to threaten me? There's no threatening. Yes, you are. There's, 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 there's yes, no you threatening. Okay? You don't no, no. scare me, okay? I have a right to know what's happening on my head. We're cutting property. trees. Okay, how far are you going? Right to the stone wall. Right to the stone yep. wall? Yeah. Yep. So we can, you know, see everything. Yep. Karma will get you, big guy. Oh, no. Don't you worry. Okay, no, no. Here. You threatening me? What? No, I'm not threatening I you. I'm property, simply please. making a statement. Beat it. Yeah. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Yeah. Or bug somebody else. I'm not bugging anybody. Wait till they build the I'm houses down below anybody. you. That's okay, because I have 16 acres too. I'll put my big houses right up next to your big houses. And I don't we'll care. Have, I don't live here. We'll have a bug. That's my point, Hell, That's my point. You don't live here, so that's why you don't care. I do live here, and I've been working my ass off. A new phenomenon cropping up more and more is where entitled Karens think they have the right to reserve a parking spot by standing in it, always leading to disgruntled drivers who legitimately need to park there and then unable to do so, just as this clip shows. He's not here. The car is not here. No. You can move a little bit so he can move the car. When he comes, he can look for a pole. But his car is here. We're recording already. Don't worry. We're already recording. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. A lot of people are telling you. They're telling you. You you will be on YouTube, so don't worry about it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is the car? Right now? Where is it? Really? Really? He was here first. He was here first. You were here without the First. I was here first. What are you gonna do? I'm I'm recording by the way. There you go. Here you go. See, here you go. You you can all you can all do that. That's that's not right. That's not right. You're you're on the way. I'm sorry you're on the way. You have to walk. There you go, listen to him. Listen to him. Don't tell me what to do, alright? So shut up. Okay. Alright, good for you. 
You can move I, now. I just won't move. You can go find the parking go compound. Good for you. Go for you. I don't mind. I can spend my whole day here. I, I don't so care. Can I. I don't so care. Can I. So I don't can care. I. Maybe she's going to move because we circle. Not because you circle. So don't worry about it. Everybody's recording. Good job. Good job. Record me more. Record me more. Am I? I swear. Okay. Go see who's sicker. Okay. Well, I'm sick. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's right there. Right now? He was here first. You was holding it with what? You was holding it with what? You were here first. We're not asking that. They were saving the stuff for us. With what? They, you, you, no, you, this, is, this is not legal. This is not. No, no, no. You cannot save a spot with a human. There's rules. There is rules. Do you want me to call the police? Do you want me to call the police and call you the rules? Do you want me to call the police? I can call the police. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Call it. Call it. Call it. Call it. Call it. Okay, if you if you say there's no rules, then you can hold the parking with yourself. Okay, we can get the police and we can tell you if you can if you can save it or not. We can do that. Okay, uh, where, she's calling right now. She's calling. She's calling. You can keep standing. You can keep standing. There you go. It's for you. Really? 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 You'll be on YouTube, so don't worry about it. You'll be in YouTube, yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah, go ahead. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Go ahead. Gonna do? Keep going, keep going. Good for you. Keep going. It's okay, guys. It's okay, guys. It's okay, guys. It's okay, guys. Insane Karen brutally attacks this woman's car and ends up driving off with a woman trying to hold her accountable, hanging off the car door. Just wild. See? This hairdresser has had enough of this Karen client of hers and tells her to leave midway through the haircut. Man, that's some respect. A lot of stress in my life. Robin, that was a lot, Robin. Oh my God. I'm sorry, Robin, please. No, Robin. Please. Robin, that was a lot. Please. Robin, like, come please. on, Robin. I need please. you to go. We're gonna have to reschedule. Oh my I'm sorry. God. That, like, look, you want me shaking. Like, I've never had someone do that to me. Well, I can't. 
go with my hair. But you should think about that before you are disrespectful. Uh -huh. That was like wild, Robin. Like, I've never I had that. Want... Okay, fine. I no, Robin, want... let's just deal with this later. Like, I just need you to go. Like, that was oh super disrespectful. God. Like, I can't even believe you should oh like that. God. Like, I really took care of you when no one in the other salon wanted to do your hair. I wanted to do your hair, and we created a bond. And you just so how that do I get this out? You're just going to go on and wash it. Robin, you can't disrespect people and expect people to do services for you. This is a service. It's not like the bank. You know what I mean? Like, I understand your situation with the bank, but you can't come in here in my business and make I it like... Have a lot of pressure I'm, from my daughter. You know what? I have a lot of pressure, too. I mean, we all have pressure. I know, Let's just I end this. Here, Robin. Honestly, oh I appreciate God. you. Like, I'm wasting so much product, and, like, I don't want you to waste your time, but that was a lot. Like, I'm going to need you to go. Okay. Karen pulls the most typical move ever and asks for the manager, thinking she should have been treated differently than everyone else. Crazy Karen attacks this guy for eating animals, while unbelievably having a half-eaten burger in her hand. Karen logic at work, ladies and gents. Eating animals is wrong. You're literally eating an animal right now. That isn't true. You have a half-eaten burger in your hand at McDonald's. It's not what it looks like. Karens argue over property lines and things get pretty heated, with this person filming discreetly and managing to catch it all on camera. Racist Karen can't understand how her question has racist undertones, proving a level of ignorance and arrogance beyond hell. Many illegal Mexicans coming here to our country and going to destroy our country. Ma'am. Don't. No, I'm asking if you're legal. If I'm legal. Yeah. That is crazy. That doesn't make me racist at all. You're racist, ma'am. Yeah, get No, nah, I ain't helping with that. Absolutely, that'd be great. <laughs> You're crazy if I'm legal. If I'm legal, ma'am. You are crazy. He's a woke person because I asked him if he was legal. All of a sudden, I'm apparently, you don't know what. If I'm legal, do I look, ma'am? Look like. He looks like a stupid. It does do his job. You're racist. No, 
Go. Go. Call the cops. I just did your carpet. That is crazy. Insane Karen gets incredibly aggressive and this guy isn't willing to back down and he yells just as loud as her. Say it again, Karen. Hey, Karen, what are you? I'll wait for the hey, come on, I want you to wait. wait I want police. you to wait, Karen. I will I want wait you to wait, Karen. My phone's going to die. I want you to wait, Karen. Karen. That's why they call That's you. Right. There you go, Karen. For asking for I want a phone you, Karen. Charger. Hey, Karen. For asking for hey, a phone Karen. Charger. Hey there, for Karen. For a You're going to be all over the internet as a racist. Yeah, I am hey, now. I know. You've been one. You've been one. You've been one. What am I again? Tell me what I am. Tell me what I am. Exactly, say I'm it. White Come on, not. say it again. That's why you don't Say it like again. Me. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Again. The whole world hear you. The whole world hear you. Again. Oh. Oh. There you go. Why don't you wait for the police? Wait for the police. Wait for the police. Come on. Wait for the police. Come on. Wait for the police. I thought so. Come on, Karen. Don't run now, Karen. There you go. Another absolutely insane Karen, and this one is in a plane toilet, proving that at any moment you can be a witness to a Karen public freakout. On video. Don't touch me. Get out of my face. You need to calm down. You need to get away I'm from me. You just touched my phone. You I just touched me. You blocked it into my face. I didn't block it did. It hit my face. Get away. Entitled Karen whines about having to wait 30 minutes for her pizza and threatens to call corporate. Leonard, Regina Leonard. It was eight pizzas. It was eight pizzas. I'm wondering why it was more than 30 minutes late. Because we have several big orders. I and they had in line. one. I ordered at one o'clock this afternoon. I understand that, ma'am, but it goes in line with the way it pops up. I can't stand. I'm it. calling corporate. Please do. Because I will. Because, because I want because my they money back. Orders I want you. to. Because we had big orders ahead of you too. You wasn't the only one that had a big order, bitch. But you can leave my store. We don't have time. Have a good night. Oh, no. No, you'll be hearing from corporate. Believe me. I just want a pizza. That's all I want. Delusional Karen calls the police on this innocent guy over seemingly just sitting in his car with his phone. He seems to know his legal rights more than this goofball of a cop. Are you last? Not at all. Public space. Okay. We've had a lot of activity in the neighborhood. There's a lot of activity in every neighborhood. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have a well being checked on, okay? Perfect. Yep. The woman calls the cops. Why exactly? I'm unsure. Hello. Howdy. Can see your driver's license proof insurance. Please. Is there any reason for it? Yes. What's the reason? Uh, one of the neighbors in the. This neighbor right here neighborhood called in saying that you were taking photographs of her while she was out in her yard. Taking photographs of her? Yeah. How would she know that? Regardless of how she knew that, CM is on a public street and even if he was taking photographs of her, it is legal and there is no reason for CM to provide his papers. Well, is it a crime to take photographs on a public area? It's not. It, it's not, actually. Okay. It can be considered uh, intrusive and disorderly conduct. So is it intrusive and disorderly conduct? Is it or isn't it? It is not. In the state of Minnesota, disorderly conduct is defined as engaging in brawling or fighting, disturbing an assembly or meeting, or engaging in offensive, obscene, abusive, boisterous, or noisy conduct or in an offensive, obscene, or abusive language tending reasonably to arouse alarm, anger, or resentment in others. Because so this is public of... space, so I can sit anywhere along the street I please, any day of the week I please, any time of day I please. 
And then you went and called the police on me after I said, no, I'm not lost. Thank you for your help. I your, actually, am I yeah, being detained? Am I being detained? No, you may not. That's private information. I'm not going to share with a random person. Am I being detained? Am I being detained? You are a random person. You I haven't even not. identified yourself as a police officer. Appalling. That's appalling. Am I being detained now for the 15th time on camera? Um, yes or no? Yes. I'm being detained. What yes. am I being detained for? Inter investigation into a suspicious activity. What's the suspicious activity? Sitting in a public space with my phone on my mount? I don't it's know. It's all on camera. Do you understand that? I'm going to go to your department and send them the video. Okay. What have I done wrong? You're illegally detaining me. You clown. Are you kidding me? What a joke. Do you see my partner down here as well filming? You clown. You are a joke. Go get a real job, you it's, rude human. Get away from me. What have I done that's rude? You're illegally detaining me. You just stated I, it on camera. The only person that's been rude has been you. Great, I'm being harassed by two random people for sitting in a public place in my own state. I'm not a random person. You are to me. Okay. And you're you're not a cop until I've committed a crime. Otherwise, you have no business talking to me, questioning me, illegally no... detaining me on camera. Bet you regret that. No, actually, I don't. Okay. That's why I have not told you to shut off your camera because I have done nothing You cannot wrong. tell me to shut off my exactly. camera. Exactly. Why, why would you even bring up the fact that you haven't told me because you can't in the because first you, place you brought whether I'm committing place, a crime Ron. or... Where's the investigation I'm at? still trying to determine if what you're claiming is correct or what she's claiming doesn't is doesn't really correct. matter. I can yeah, take pictures of anybody's house from the public spot. You can't trespass my eyes and you cannot stop me from taking any pictures of anything from a public spot. That's correct. So why are you still here then? Because... What are you looking at I'm in my car? Look at this crazy random person so, looking in my car i've already identified myself you already said i'm a police officer i'm no longer a random person i'm dude. talking to the camera thank so you so now well you've said it on camera that i'm not a ran all right not a random person you look identified upset me as a you're police getting. officer look at upset you're getting be professional i am being professional all right it's that you are keep i don't need to be professional okay. buddy it's not my job to be a police officer i'm a all private right. citizen so cri thank you very much Angry Karen gets stopped by the police for her bad behavior and tries to make a run for it, despite it being more like a waddle, and immediately gets detained and puts in handcuffs. A sweet dose of Karen Karma. Male Karen at the Locks Popeye gets schooled by this employee who is not taking any of his garbage leaving on-looking customers in hysterics. Yeah, but still, it doesn't allow me to take the sign down. I won't have none until tomorrow. That's all I can tell you. Karen. It's nothing else that I can say. I won't have none until tomorrow. Period. Everybody else that I can explain that to, say, okay, I'll be back tomorrow. That's it. Are you done? Yeah, because you're the only person that's giving me a problem. You're not giving me a problem. That's your question. Yeah, but I just explained it to you. I don't but you're know. you're raising your voice. I'm not raising my voice. I'm not yelling at all. What's the story over here? 904-431-8208. Your name is? You gonna speak to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to corporate. But you gonna speak to me? I'm going to corporate. For what? Because I don't have no black and filets? <coughs> you missed the whole point. So what's the point? Because I'm telling you the I'm, same thing, I'm saying the same thing. I'm not raising my voice, I'm not yelling at you, I'm not nothing. They can't even hear me. The only people that can hear me is him. I'm clearly telling you, I'm completely sold out of black and filets. Karen aggressively yells at this truck and relentlessly blares her horn, thinking it'll help her get her own way. She's in for a rude awakening.
Male Karen gets heated over debated property lines and argues with his neighbor. When you're mixed, but you were raised by a Karen. These posts aren't yours, dude. They're my fence. That post is, that post is not your post. You but tied your fence to mine. Crazy, you must yeah. be smoking that crack, dog, because this all belongs to me, dog. No, it don't. Yes, it does. No, it don't. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, yes, it does bro. It does Look at this. Not. Look at this. This fence here is mine. Look where the line is, my friend. No. You can see it. Look at that. It's not tied line. up to it. You're not tied up hey. to it. I wouldn't touch me if I were you, buddy. You should go get a survey. You should go get a survey. No. Karen causes chaos in the local fast food restaurant, not having permission to film, yet having the audacity to do so anyway, and demanding further concessions, despite having been given her meal for free. Scary Karen encounter seems like a horror film, with a truism aggressive Karen assaulting this terrified girl and chasing her down the dark corridor into a black room. Let me tell you something. Don't touch me! What in the hell? Let me tell you something. Do not touch me! I... Don't touch me. You just assaulted me. Have fun running in jail. Don't assault me again. Do not assault me. I'm assaulting you. I'm you just, just tried to grab my phone out of my hand. You're taking a photo that I didn't. It's advise. a video. Yeah, but you're you're you touching me. Yes, because I am not safe right now. Because Neither you're am I. here. Why? I'm not safe because you're here. So that what are we going to do? So what are we going to do? They need me. They don't need you. Karen demands the police convince they'll side with her and instruct employees to give the lady her wings. Fed up customers get involved and try to teach her a lesson. Much to her refusal to back down. Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Get out of my face! Listen! No, 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 no! Stop! You're not Listen! Get out of my face! 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 Get out of my face!
no, no, no. Help, listen, call the police. Call, call the police. I do not have my cell phone. Listen, dear. I don't care I don't about you. you. Okay, so what are you, what are you, to, listen, you. see your out of this you conversation. Come you come down. I don't need to you come, come down. down. You can yeah, what, you listen. Know. What are you, listen, dear, take your and sit down. Karen goes crazy and her husband even tries to tame her after being embarrassed by her antics. Get out of here. Is this Stop. how you wake up? You wake Stop. up in this mood? Dude, I asked you a simple you question. Make I asked you a simple there's question. Not, there's a lock no, door. now, now we're going to make go you famous. You can't this go guy we got a Karen. We got a Karen me. over here. I'm He's literally making a delivery. This yeah. guy's assaulting Oh yeah, I'm assaulting me. He's Look, making a delivery. I'm assaulting. Look, I'm making a delivery. I asked him a question and started yelling at me. license plate. Yeah, it was my license plate. Rhonda, stop. Rhonda, Rhonda, stop. Rhonda, Rhonda, stop. Rhonda, Rhonda, stop. Rhonda, stop. Rhonda, stop. Rhonda, stop. Another insane Karen goes berserk on the train. Despite her outbursts, most people must have seen this Karen behavior too much to care, as no one around her seems to blink an eye. Shut up. Shut up. You're not gonna do that. No, 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 no. You're not gonna do that. You're not gonna do You're not gonna do The cops are called on this Karen causing chaos in the local neighborhood, with onlookers fed up with this nonsense happening this early on a Monday. Only Monday, man. It's Karen freaks out over not having anywhere to park and rudely argues with this worker just trying to help her. What's the situation? The situation is I was up there for 10 minutes waiting for valet. She has a doctor appointment. We're going to miss the doctor appointment. So I come down here to park the car myself. But see, you take all the parking spaces back in here and we have nowhere to park. Right, we're the valet. I'm no kidding, honey. Do I look like an idiot? Anyhow, to sit up there for another 10 minutes, she's going to miss her appointment. Okay? Would you so, like to use the valet service? Are you hard of hearing? I was sitting up there for 10 minutes waiting to be valeted. You cannot get up to the valet. Karen goes hysterical and starts screeching at the top of her lungs at the airport, eventually being escorted away, much to onlookers' relief. Exactly! Exactly! So I'm going to! Best believe if I'm gonna leave without my here. No, no, because I have a connecting flight somewhere. I have a 
Karen aggressively argues with fast food workers, but she seems to have met her match. Tav, your boring job gets interesting. I came back today on purpose just to see how y'all gonna function. Y'all see this functional. A disgrace to me now, of course. And she already gives you a large price. You don't feel stupid. That's why you don't want to give me my refund. Because your dumb ass got great. They gave me a whole lot of time. But you guys gave me a free meal, didn't you? With your dog. You think you managed to get your money back? You, you broke? Shit. You broke? Your whole crew just oh, trying to get your money back. Baby, you I broke? got mad money, boo. So but why you out there? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You should be fired. You should be fired. And I can replace you real quick, too. Everybody know about you. Everybody know about you. Everybody know about you. Yeah. Everybody know about Bye. you. Now they do. Bye. You're not even mad at you. You don't even have to Bye. Bye. You gonna miss your bus, man. You right. You gonna miss your bus. You gonna miss your bus. Bye. You gave away free food. Yeah, Ain't that true, Jackson? But you wanna Ain't that true, Jackson? But you wanna get a refund? Ain't that true, Jackson? But you wanna get a refund? Car Karen caught in a lie, having complained she cannot reverse, and going on to do just that. A center action. Oh my gosh. This is literally what's happening right now as she pulls into a spot. Okay. I will. She can only pull forward but cannot reverse. Wonderful. Yep, yep. Rude Karen argues with a hotel front desk staff who is not willing to be treated like dirt and defensively argues back. It's your job to check us in. You what are you trying to help us? The person off the street could help us. I could not log in to help you, okay? Mr. Parrish helped me. He's not going to let me log in and could give y'all a key and put y'all in a room. Now, y'all don't want to do that. You want my confirmation number? You have my ID. So is that the missing link? You need my confirmation number? Then you'll get me in a room? You were the one being about all the meetings now. Yeah, I am. Because now I'm really pissed off. Well, you should be pissed off at him. Who? Not me. Paris. The owner of the hotel. I'm here all by myself. So with my confirmation number and my ID, you can check me in. Is that correct? Yeah. Back to me. Back. Are you Johnny? You have to figure out how you're going to get the chicken. You have to probably going to fire anyway. And all I was doing was Aaron argues aggressively in the middle of the street over being upset he was given a ticket. Go 911! Yeah. Don't worry. Come to my place of business! Give me a finger! Hey, 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 Who right do you now, think you are? Right now, you need to get away. Get away. Go. I get away, boy! Give me a finger! Go. Have go. you come to my place of business? Go. Give me a finger right now! Are you, are you proud of it? Right now, I'm going to the dome. I'm going to tell the 20,000 people. Tell everybody! Don't because give me a finger! Right. You have no right to give me a finger! A group of Karens called out on their antics, and this good Samaritan doesn't back down when they threaten to call the cops on him. You're trying to rob people around here. 
There you are. I wasn't even talking to you. <laughs> Call him because you're trying to rob people. Call him. I bet you just got I'm not scared of the cops. You guys are walking away. Karen isn't happy her neighbors are having more fun than her, with the ending of this clip making this encounter utterly hilarious. You kicked it over. Oh. You, that's assault. You kicked that over. Oh my God. Give me a break and get my property. Oh my God. Uh -oh. We have to, we have to... Oh my God, it's oh my God about you getting a letter and continuing this stuff. You getting all this on video, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. God. You got this letter today about partying out here, and okay. you did it tonight. Don't you recall we, that? We weren't. We I'll, weren't I'll say... You are disturbing people. We are getting phone calls about this. You are disturbing people. Who? It's... What difference does it make? Who? Crazy Karen demands her employer to pay for her phone, but he defends his stance well and doesn't give in to her ludicrous demands. You are not you gonna... I won't ruin your phone. No, you're not gonna then you won't. Then you're gonna pay for no, my phone. Won't. You're gonna pay for my phone. Shut the recording. You're, gonna, you're gonna pay for my phone. You can do it yourself. No, because I'm out of here. I had a whole attitude earlier today. Oh, baby, you, you spend more time in the goddamn bathroom. If your pregnancy is such a disability that you can't work, you don't need to be working. You don't play these games when Nicole is here, but you'll play them when I'm here. Now you're recording me because you think I'm going to come out my neck sideways at you, and I'm not. But I'm you, not but that you, stupid. But you already did. When no, you kept, have when I you called you out of your name? When you, I, when you raised your voice at me, you no, already did. Sideways. Racist bus Karen gets owned on her racist demands by other passengers not willing to watch and listen to her nonsense. You should really take this show on the road. I'm Puerto Rican, is that wrong? That's right. I love Puerto Rican. That's right, what about the I love Chinese. I love Korean. I love every country. But when they come to America, it would be nice if they spoke English. Too bad for you. Yes, it is. No, it's not. The United States doesn't have an official language. <laughs> well, I never said to you. Oh, well, then they don't have to speak it for you because they're not talking to you. I'm so glad you're Exactly. Yeah. Ancient Karen tries to stop this innocent man from entering the restaurant and threatens to call the police. Now, I done told you. That damn animal ain't coming where I eat. You're not eating here. The hell I am. Okay. I'm eating everything. So I, I am trying to enter this store, and if you stop me, you're going to be arrested. Well, you carry that son of a I'm going to have you charged with, with bringing an animal in violation of the health code. That okay. ain't a service animal. That's right, a bye. companion animal. It is not a companion animal. I know the law. So you do not know the law if you're telling me that. Well, check and see if you can bring anything other than we'll, a we'll, dog. We'll, we'll just wait on the police and they, they and they will remove you from the doorway. See if you can bring anything in other than a C&I dog. I, know I, 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 I hope you're going to stay put for the police. Well, I ain't worried about Because it. maybe the police can help you understand the law a little bit. Karen harasses this worker to the point that he snaps. Are you going to get in there or not, Key? Yes or no? It's up to you. Key, when are you going to get in there? Answer me. When are you going to get in there? Male Karen plays an incredibly dangerous prank on the driver of this car, pretending he just fell asleep. Yo, 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 yo! Yo, yo! What happened? Bro, sleeping. Crazy? Jesus Christ, we almost. Oh my god, crazy. Entitled Karen thinks she has the right to reserve a parking space for someone else just by standing in the spot. Are you guys having a nice Christmas? Yeah. yeah. Once you leave, we'll have a wonderful. But that's Christmas. not. You know but what? But you don't. You, you don't. Hold you don't hold space, space like that. You, you know don't what? stand in a space and block other people from you, parking. We got here first. You know what? To set an example of no, kindness. No. Why? Why? I'm gonna give you guys the space. Why are you entitled to the space? Merry Christmas. Why are you Merry entitled? You, you explain to me why yeah. you're entitled. Not, yeah. That doesn't. It doesn't work that way. And you girls, like you know, I hope, explain to me no, why so you're entitled to this space. I hope you have the peace in your heart. Same to you.
Why don't uh, you tell that, yourself yeah, that? No, no. That's, that's why we're giving it to you. Why don't you tell yourself that? But that's that, not lady. how it works, okay? It's not, you're not giving it to us. That doesn't work that way. You gotta have some sympathy for this male Karen who seems to be just going through something and knows it. Bless his heart. This is a special job! Disgusting Karen shunned and shamed for his illegal behavior and still has the audacity to play the victim card. Pretty sure there's pictures of my daughter on his phone too, which no, will be watching. taken off. Mexican Say hey everybody. Fucking pervert. Oh yep, there he is smiling. Look at that smile. You don't mind being behind the camera. You don't want to be on camera. Oh, I don't mind being on camera. I'm sure you don't, you fucking pervert. Step the fuck away. Step the fuck away. Oh, 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 oh! I'm good, damn! Oh, oh! Oh, oh, oh! I know, come on. Male Karen argues with his delivery worker and demands he leaves, treating him like he's the dirt beneath his feet. Gross. And this is I the second time that, that you have attitude. Don't raise your voice. I'm me. going to raise it. What do are you going to do? do not, what are you going to do? do not raise your what voice are you going me. to do? You're not the first person not, that comes to deliver stuff raise. here. Yeah. Do not raise do, your voice. Get out. Me. Get out. For what? Leave now. Why are you Leave. screaming? Leave. I'm screaming at you because you don't know how to behave. You're the one who's not behaving. You don't know how to behave. Look if you have a problem, you need to speak to people. Look yourself. You're the one who's got a problem. Look yourself. Look yourself. Get out of the building. Karen freak out is so loud that it's audible from the other side of the street. Male Karen makes a whole heap of demands and threatens to call corporate over a few little errors in his fast food order. Ah, uh, that's pathetic. I want your employee number, I want your employee number, and whoever's working the grill, I want your employee number two, and I want the number to corporate. I want my money back for this burger, and the you know what, and I want free fries for having to sit out there, wait longer, drive home, and come back here again. Yeah, why? Because it's also you. I've had this problem with you in particular so many goddamn times. I don't care if you don't talk to me like that. Or else what? Karen goes crazy and claims this man just minding his own business is a drug dealer. Keep talking. Keep talking. He's a drug dealer. Keep talking. You talk about me. I have a job. Call corporate. And look how you're, you're acting at it. Dealer. And look how you're acting at it. You're look how you're acting. You're talking about drug dealers while you're, you're, you you got your little I'm shirt corporate. on. You got knows. your shirt on. I it's all right. We'll see. Okay? We'll see. We're corporate. Karen starts crying at the hairdresser and embarrasses herself completely. Karen freaks out that the other people are shopping and looking at the same clothes on the same rack as they are. Honest because it moves. And it's for employees to use to put recover stuff on it. Rough day. Which is my rack. I'm not even sure. It's my rack you were leaning on. This is a rack for us to use when we get Car Karen blocks the bus lane and gets called out for his selfish behavior thinking he has the right to do so just because he's got a fancy car. 
I'm, I'm right here. This guy's just parked right here. Being a This guy's just blocking the whole bus. Why though? Hey bro, why don't you move your car, dude? You're blocking the bus. Why you gotta be a Look at this guy in his Corvette. Look at this, look at this guy right here in his Corvette blocking the bus. Look at him. Look at him. He thinks his time's more important than the public transportation. Look at him. Hey, the purge is starting, bro. They're gonna come after people like you. Let's get his license plate. Look at this guy. He thinks, look, he thinks his shit don't stink. Look at that. Look how selfish this guy is. Hey, I'm gonna move for you, bro. Yeah, look at, no, actually, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this sucker right here. Look at that guy. Dude, what's going on in the world, bro? You got a f***ing bus right there with people on it. Dude, like, what, what's going on here? People are just going crazy, dude. Nobody cares about... Everybody's just mad at her, dude. God damn. Where's the love? Black Eyed Peas, where's the love?